Hi there folks uh, welcome back to the CRT if you're here for the first time welcome to my channel this is where I play games on real hardware on using utilizing all sorts of CRTs and if you're a subscriber and returning good to see you again so today as you can see here we'll be playing the Super Nintendo an NTSCU model I don't care what anybody says about the looks of this console. I grew up with it. I love it. It ain't just nostalgia. It could be, you know, it could be. But I love the looks. I love purple. I love the uh, the color tones. I love the controller. We'll be talking about it uh, quite a bit before, you know, as usual. Again, you can just uh, follow the timestamps or fast forward if you're not interested in hearing any of this jibber jabber here. Okay. And we will be using, and yes, I'll be looking here because I have a problem memorizing all those names. Uh, the Sony PVM, PVM 14M4E. If you're in America, that'll be a 14M4U, or in Japan, 14M4J. Now, this is an excellent, excellent, is a, is a high tier professional uh, video monitor by Sony. It, has 800 TVL, which means TV lines, that'll be. Uh, I'll link, uh, whenever I talk about TVLs, uh, TVL, uh, no, I keep saying TVLs, TVL, uh, line count and all that, I'll just, uh, I think I'll just uh, link phone dorks. Uh, he has a lot of very high, high uh, range PVMs and BVMs, and it, he shows it, he captures very well and talks about the, the scan lines and all that basically an 800 tvl is a very sharp monitor uh the scan lines are thick and juicy like thick as bacon on a frying pan uh, early morning and some people don't like them and uh, that's fine uh you know they find it too sharp now some people say they look like uh, emulation you know with fake scan lines and <laughs> I can assure you they don't, you know, not in person, not to me, not to my eyes personally, that's me personally speaking. I played emulation and, you know, OSSC with fake scan lines on a flat panel. And it just, you can't convey what those monitors look, even in this channel, on this channel here. And, you know, with pictures, it's quite hard to convey what you're seeing in person. And to see this monitor here with this game, I was a bit skeptical. To see this in person, it's quite something. It, it's so sharp the colors are so vivid the, the tube in this this year monitor is still very bright it's an excellent monitor now this one here goes for quite a pretty penny on ebay last time i checked when you see it, there's another one that is uh, similar i think is the M, uh, pvm 14 m2e and that uh, has less tvl so it's not as sharp the scan lines are not as stick still a very good monitor but uh, it's quite easy to mistake. I heard stories of people trying to buy this one and then the seller sent the uh, M2 and they were upset, obviously, because they paid a lot. Now, I paid nothing on this monitor. A friend of mine, very good friend, and if you pop up in the comments, take a bow, my friend, because he gave this monitor for free to me. Free. This, this feller, friend of mine, just gave me the monitor, along with a, a shit ton of other cool, you know, hardware. A, a fucking nerd's paradise. This guy is like every time I go through the boxes here, it's Christmas. You know, I was like, ooh, look at this. Ooh, look at that. Oh, my God, I have this. The soldering uh, station, soldering station, uh, a gazillion consoles, you know, uh, not working, working. It's crazy. It's crazy. And I, I was lost for words on how to thank him. And I, I, I just really appreciate it. And this monitor... It took me a while. It took me a while to make a video on it because I wanted I wanted to do the Super Nintendo. I, I wanted a sharp. Now I'm gonna I'm not gonna go back to the fancy you know shots, but I do wanna I think show a little bit before I play the game, 
since I'm not streaming this is a pre-recorded video to show the uh, the hardware a little bit up close so today we'll be looking at the back of the monitor and I want to show the Super Nintendo and talk a bit about it and again if you just want to if you're just interested in Donkey Kong Country play a gameplay just fast forward or, or go to the uh, timestamps and if the chapters are working they work whenever they want around here uh, just do what you want you know but I'll be talking about the the stuff that I like to talk about which is hardware and CRTs so let's go let's take a closer look at things and see how it goes so I'm just gonna change the angle here uh, in post yeah well now and then in post I put it all together and let's take a look at this stuff yeah and I hope you enjoy it there you go the uh, that's the monitor it looks very industrial I would say you have the HR Trinitron high resolution I suppose it stands for the tail light is not hooked you have to uh, do a certain like a little plug it looks like gas video but in the back it's like shortened uh, I don't know how to do it to be honest but my friend that gave me this monitor he explained to me how I just haven't bothered with it I'm a bit scared to be honest I'm messing it up and uh, if we go go ahead and take a look at the panel here again I'm not gonna be doing fancy shots and none of that so just a kind of kind of an informal thing here so you have RGB component SDI don't matter, line RGB, external sync, DIGOS, blue only, under scan, HV delay, uh, 16 by 9, uh, manual and whatnot. Uh, it says here, fucking chairs loud, service manual, DIGOS plus enter, has a reminder here on the side. Aperture control, bright, brightness, chroma, face, contrast, and volume. Uh, pretty much left at the, in the middle here everything and it's, it's pretty bright and vivid and of course the power button is right here and it has a mono speaker I never use it and I never use sounds on uh, most of my TVs let alone uh, PVMs and BVMs which are not really made for that and some don't even support sound at all so that's uh, the, all there is you see in the front really so this monitor is a 15 kilohertz so it does not do 480p 720p like the BVM the 14 h5e that I have but it doesn't need to I mean I have that one so this is the same amount of lines though it's 800 TVL uh, a lot of people say TVL don't matter and it's a, a gimmicky thing uh, it's not I have a 600 TVL you can tell the difference I can at least you know if you can that's your thing uh, it, it looks very sharp it's like when I saw it the first time I was like wow this is incredible especially on this here's a 14 inch and it looks incredibly sharp it's, it's crazy how it looks so this monitor here uh, I'm not sure if I can see it show it on the side here let me zoom back out there we go that's it and let me go full screen here like I said this is gonna be very informal so I hope you don't mind that uh, anyway so because I don't have a chance to show those angles when I'm playing eh? It got a little banged up here, as you can see in the front. In fact, today, as careful as I was, sagacious as I am, I still managed, there's a little piece here that came out of somewhere. I was trying to fix it, trying to find a way to make it firm. But basically, this part here is sort of detached. And this, is it can go quite a bit forward. If you, if you flip the monitor, like uh, on its screen, you know, obviously put a pillar or something, and then it kind of sets it into place. I did take the cover, this part off, but I couldn't figure it out, figure out what to do, really. So I just kind of put it together the best as I could. It, it holds up, it's not the end of the world. It just looks a bit ugly here on the side when it's open. So at some point, it wasn't here, but at some point it must have dropped. So I see if I can turn around here. Again, I don't want, I don't want to do a bunch of fancy fucking shots, so I want to do this all in one go. And I'm, I'm kind of afraid of uh, scratching this. There's the back of it, and it has the model here, all the information. Sorry, a little bit dirty. I do need to clean up a tiny bit. And if I can zoom in here, the inputs. There we go. I like this. I like doing this uh, without, you know, the fancy shots. I like, the, mind you, I like the fancy shots I used to do before. It's just a lot of work in editing. And this is like, it's just informal. So I just show you, show you the stuff. Okay, so. There you go. So if you want to connect your 
you know your RGB SCART consoles you'll be using a cable such as this let me zoom out once again there we go uh, this one here so one end you have you know RGB and you have this the yellow won't be composite uh, it's sync so I don't think it works as composite. And I don't use composite on PVMs unless it's a composite on a PVM, which I don't have, but I'm aim, aiming to get one. They tend to be on the cheaper side, and I, I do like composite still. So this here, this cable you connect here, I'm going to show you how it is in a bit. This, If you know all this, again, I keep repeating, just fast forward. It's just like for people that maybe they want to see the back of it and see how it all works, and they're new to PVMs and BVMs and all that, so that's for more for them. And there's your, uh, this one has the audio, and I use that to go straight to my recording, because I like to record the audio separately from my voice, just in case I need to adjust one is too loud, and the other one wants to shoot quiet or something. So quite useful to have this, and so there you go. And then on the other end, you have your SCART cable, and for today, for today, we'll be using, as usual, from Retro Gaming Cables, uh, Bob awesome products and we'll be using the C-Sync and I'll be talking about what the C-Sync stuff is uh, well not what it is I won't be boring you to death with it just say why am I using C-Sync and how and what I had to do to do there's some caveats here so there you go but it's considered by many of the highest quality signal you know you have sync aluma and other stuff which are also great but uh, anyway so you have to get for the Super Nintendo if you're using the NTSC Super Nintendo, you have to get one made for it. Not the PAL one is different; it's wired differently. I believe I, I don't know wired differently. I think the resist. I don't know. I don't do PAL anyways, uh, so it's not my really my problem there. But uh, I'll be doing the Super Famicom. But I, I don't know. I'll look into PAL exclusives. I do want. I don't want to be a you know an NTSC snob and just going hey, PAL sucks and all that. I wanna I wanna see some PAL games. They're tricky to record, for example. There's a, I forgot there's a game on a Master System. I should rant here for too long, but there's a game on a Master System that is PAL exclusive. However, PAL uh, consoles that go below 50 hertz for me is impossible to record with this camera without having to go down to 30 FPS, which is pathetic, and I'm, I won't, I refuse. So it's a bit of a problem. So it's not for the lack of wanting to play some exclusive PAL games, it's just a problem is recording them. For me here in the style that I do. Uh, anyways, zoom in here, and that's what it looks like. So basically, you come here with with your cables. You you know you RGB so green. Yeah, plug it in. Why not? How yeah, with it? Green, and then well, the first thing to do is educate yourself so you learn how to read. That's the start. So apparently I skipped on that, but there we go back on track. So red, you have your green right here. There you go. And then your blue. And those are called, in case you don't know, they're called BNC cables. So this will be a BNC to SCART and also RCA adapter. And then you go here on external sync, put it in. And I believe the tail light goes right here on this remote thing. But look at this thing, it's an octopus. I, 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 what if I fuck up, you know, I don't want to mess with it. And this TV also has uh, S-Video, or YC, and also Composite. So you can play Composite on it. I tend to just, I tend to go, I'm not sure, oh, this is audio. Oh, yeah, you can do audio. Don't use audio on your PVM or VVM unless you're really desperate. You know, just get external speakers or surround sound or whatever, just headphones. You know, or batteries. They're not really made with sound in mind. And uh, that's it. So you connect that there, and then you get your, uh, in this case, the Super Nintendo cable here, and just uh, you know, plug in, and you are uh, good to go. Zoom out, dumbass. There we go. Yeah, and that's it. That's all I did for today. So that's all there is to talk about the, the PVM here, and let's move on to the console. Now the console we'll be using today is the Super Nintendo, and this one at first glance it looks like just any other Super Nintendo ever made. Well, it is a bit different inside, you know, 
it has Intel inside. Now I'm just getting is a one chip console. Now the one chip, if you don't know that is, is basically a Super Nintendo that gets rid of all the blurriness and it's just pretty sharp. You have a one chip 01, 02, and 103. The 03 is the rarest one of them. I came across was I've been I've been wanting a one chip for a very long time because I was doing capture. See the the two chip, the regular one, it looks fine on the CRT as well. But even with RGB, you can tell the difference with a one chip. So for a long time, long long time, I wanted one. And there's some of them online, but sometimes they're well, a lot of times they're overpriced. You know how it is with retro games now. It's just everything getting kind of crazy out there. It just keeps getting worse. Um, so no difference here. Not, not a different story with a one chip. Very expensive. But sometimes you can find a good deal. You can try to find one that is not labeled as one chip. It is possible. I come across them. And there's a whole deal with the serial number. But there's no guarantee. The only true guarantee is you're looking inside. Which obviously if you're buying online you can't do. So anyways, one, this is a one chip 03, and the reason I bought it, it was not extravagant. It was for the same price as the 02, and I knew going in that the old chip, uh, the one chip 03 is more work. I'll talk about it in just a bit, but let, first let's take a look at the console. It's not very yellow, uh, okay condition, you know, okay at best. You know, it has some problems, a few cracks here and there. There you go, there's your multi, there's a crack here. There's a multi out, there's your URF, and there's your PSU uh, input here, the power supply. And it has, like a lot of uh, Super Nintendos, it has this crack here. Uh, but everything working, there is some yellowing. Some people tell the one chips, one chip console is never yellow. That's a bunch of horse shit. I have it right here, and it's a bit yellow. It's not as yellow as the other one. Uh, you know, the one I use with my uh, Mortal Kombat playthrough, and there it is. This is the regular one, and it's very yellow. And this is the thing that puts me off from uh, Retro Brighton. When I got this console, it, it looked brand new. And then over time, it, it, it looked shoot new, and I thought, this is Retro Brighton, I think. And it was. And it, it's very brittle, because it brittles the plastics. Now, this here, what happened is one time, I was cleaning my consoles. I have a lot of them. They, you know, they gather dust sometimes, even if I'm using them. So I try to keep them clean. And a, a freaking spider came out, like from under the console or something. Now I'm not particularly scared of spiders, but I don't. When I'm cleaning my console, I don't expect a, a spider to come out. So I, I just got spooked and went like this. And it was in a cubicle and hit the corner. It wasn't very hard to hit, but chipped. So I wasn't happy. And then to add insult to injury, the the bit that was missing here disappeared but anyways this and then this here this is my son's artwork so he he dropped a stool on it so i was testing the console testing games i don't know what the fuck i was doing testing crt or something i think it was a crt that i had just uh, acquired and he dropped because you know kids are fidgety and he dropped a stool on it and he yeah man okay uh but that's it i still love him the Super Nintendo, not my kid. Fuck that kid. No, I'm kidding. Uh, of course I love my son. Just dark humor. Well, anyways, uh, well, there you go. This is a one chip, and this is a tiny one for comparison. Right here. Tiny guy. Little, little man, you know. This is a mini. I have all those mini things. I actually used to use them. Before I got back into real, uh, you know, original hardware, I used those things. And the proof is in a pudding right here. This is, of course, hacked to shit. Can we zoom the fuck out? I mean, Jesus. There we go. Uh, yeah, has all the games in here and all that. But after I got real hardware and, uh, you know, uh, CRTs and all that, uh, shit ton of them, I just I don't really play this. But uh, it's there. You know, it's optional. And I don't put it down. It's a great option. It, it made me very happy when I had it and didn't have a, a Super Nintendo at a time. No, I, I, di I had a Super Nintendo, but no flash card, so. Uh, but there you go, and that's the part of show and tell the console. And also, uh, one thing I want to show is uh, this coming up. It's brand new in the package. I finally got it. I was afraid I was going to miss out. And this is the Atomic Purple uh, Super Nintendo uh, shell by Retro Game Restore. And first, before getting that, I had this one still in the, the package as well. I don't know if I should. 
There you go. Oh Lord, okay. There you go, this is the clear one. So I wanna do a thing to the screw. Uh, I wanna do this on a one chip. I still wanna get a one chip 01 or 02, and I'll use the clear case on that. This is gonna go with this bad boy here. The, and I have some big plans for it. You'll see when it works. So this is probably the last time you see this one on this original shell, which I'll take good care of it. Uh, and I'll be using this atomic purple for the one chip 03. And then for the regular two chip, which still deserves a spot in the sunlight, I'll keep it stock, but I'll try to, I don't know, I'll try to see if I can restore the shell or do something with it. Obviously I can't leave it like this. Uh, so that's it. So this console here, the one chip 03, uh, the one caveat with it is that you have to do a bunch of horse shit if you want to use, you know, the regular uh, C-Sync SCART cables. So in this case, you buy an RGB bypass board. Uh, I forgot the, the name of it. I'll put a link in the description. Sorry. And um, there's also some problems with brightness. I'll just link retro RGB. I'm not going to talk at great length about it, but basically you can you have two options. You use a sync on Luma cable and it work right off the bat or do the C-Sync restore and then along with the you know other fixes. The only thing I did so I did the ghost the ghost and fixing, the brightness fix, the tiniest resistors I ever soldered. I, when I looked at them, I got dizzy. I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to solder them. I wish I had them here, they're so, t it's, it's ludicrous, it's ridiculous. It's when I looked at them, I was like, how in the fuck? Thank God I had a magnifying glass and I was able to, to get the job done. When I got the first RGB bypass board, I, I butchered it, I'm not gonna hide it from you here. I fucked it up, I soldered the vias that didn't need soldering it was a fucking disaster, not right? It was shit. I fucked up big time, and I bought one immediately after that. I managed to desolder, you know, use the desolder and wick, because uh, I'm not ready for the desolder gun yet. I, I don't want to fuck it up. I want to know how it works and clean it up, clean it perfectly. My friend that gave me the monitor gave me the desolder gun, which I wanted for a long time because I really hate the wick. But I, I really, I saved all the explanation. It told me all the precautions, all things you have to do to keep it, you know, well maintained and not destroy the, the glass tube inside and all that. Blah, 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 yada, yada. Uh, only thing missing here is the vertical line fix. That's a line that shows up. Some, I haven't noticed yet, but uh, some screens you might notice. And there's a fix for that as well. I will look into it. And, but for now, I'm very happy that I was able to solder the resistors. I was able to get it working again, and it's uh, fucking amazing. I noticed that this console was sharper on composite already. When I put on composite on my 34-inch Trinitron, and it looked almost as good as the RGB from the regular console. So, would I recommend a one cheap 03? Uh, I'll see a handlebar game, gamer, the handlebar gamer, I think it's called. Uh, very cool dude, and he has a video about this one chip 03, and he was looking for one for a long time. And he'll tell you there that it's not particularly worth it. A lot of people say that one chip 03 is sharper, but a lot of people say that it's a myth. I think you'll be happy with any one chip, and if, if you get the one chip 01 or one chip 02, you have the advantage of not having to do much work for you to, you know, for the C-Sync and all that. It has C-Sync, so you don't have to do any of that. So anyways, I want to move on. Let's move this over here. And finally, just move on to the controller, which I love and grew up with. The North American. Oh, one thing I want to mention about this North American. So you look at this console here. I want to say that I almost forgot because see no script, right? So you look at this console here. Let's get a zoom in on this bad boy. You look at this console and you go, well, it's a North American console. Yes, it is. Well, let me tell you. Because Europeans will go like, well, you know, th there's a Super Famicom and the PAL Super Nintendo and only America got this one. That would be incorrect. Brazil has the same Super Nintendo model. It is not gray marketed. They adopted this design. It was manufactured in Brazil by a company called uh, Gradient. Uh, Gradient in Portuguese would be Gradiente. Okay, it was, a it was a Brazilian company under authorization, officially licensed by Nintendo. They produced 
Super Nintendo's there in the Zona Franca de Manaus. It's a, a, a place in, in, in the Amazon that is an industrial place. And because the, the custom, the taxes on imports in Brazil is draconian, it's ludicrous. So you can possibly go look how much you know they pay for PS4s. You know, it's funny I mentioned Brazil a lot, but it's a very interesting market. It's a market that the NES wasn't as popular as the Master System, and so many different things. And Genesis, the Genesis called a Mega Drive there, but uh, curiously enough, the Sega CD is called a Sega CD, not a Mega CD, and is made by a company called Tactoy. And the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo 64 were made in Brazil. For the, with the PAL-M system, which is a PAL color encoding with NTSC timing, so 60 hertz, none of that non-optimized stuff down there. And it's a very interesting market. I don't have a Brazilian Super Nintendo, but so technically this Super Nintendo, this model, this redesign is, yes, American, but Brazil also had their the same. So it's technical Brazil. So if you talk to any Brazilian retro gamer that grew up with a Super Nintendo, when they say the Super Nintendo, this is the one they're going to think of. And in other Latin American countries, the system was not uh, officially available, so it was more of a gray market thing, so it doesn't really matter. So you can find Super Famicom, Super PAL Super Nintendos, NTSCU Super Nintendos, so anything goes. Okay, so it's North America and Brazil as far as I'm aware. Okay, so let's move on to the, I just wanted to mention that because it doesn't come up very often. Uh, and I think it's, you know, if I have something new to say that people might not know, and I, I'm not gonna fucking tell you about the video game Crash of 83. I've heard, you know, you probably heard that a gazillion fucking times. Anyways, this, uh, the controller is awesome. It's, uh, my favorite uh, digital controller of all time is the PlayStation 1, and which is heavily based on this, uh, because of the handles, and, and then this will be my second most favorite retro game controller it is the perfect organism i mean look at it so this is the sns 005 made in japan and never mind the purple which i prefer over the collar i know i'm a fucking monster you know i prefer the purple the, the lilac whatever you want to call it. i love it you know and another thing i like about the super nintendo american controller or brazilian if you're in brazil uh, it's the the convex and the concave buttons. There's a tactile difference. So the B and A is the same as the Super Famicom slash PAL SNES, but the top one, uh, they're concave. They're tactile. You can feel the the Y and X. So I grew up with this. For me to touch a Famicom controller, oh, well, look at the colors and all that. But when I touch this, it just feels wrong. It feels like heresy. It feels like repulsive to me because. I grew up with this, and when you when you used to this, every time I touch on the Super Famicom, which I play, I'll be playing the Super Famicom on the channel as well. When I touch a Y and X, it just feels bizarre because I I feel like I'm touching B and A. It's a it's a weird situation, I know, kind of quirky. Uh, but other than that, the cons the controllers are uh, identical all across the board. I don't know if this is the one that the PAL controller might not work on the Super Nintendo, if that's an NES thing. I don't know, I'm not a walking encyclopedia. This is a controller, there you go. Let's have a look at it, L and R. Uh, introduce diamond button, the diamond button pattern that's still used today. Introduce shoulder buttons. The D-pad was introduced by the Famicom, so Nintendo has been good with with controllers when they're not fucking around with, you know, motion controls or their shitty ass D-pad on the Nintendo Pro Controller, if they fixed or not, I don't know, but I have one and it's shit. So, there you go, that's the controller, and lastly, we we'll talk about the Hack Du Jour, which is, which is nothing, right, nobody, I mean, it doesn't have a label. This is an FX Pac Pro, so basically the best, best flash card is for the, the Super Nintendo, so insert your your SD card, your games in your SD card, you know, in case you don't know how flash cards work, and just insert it here, and there's utilities, all kinds of stuff, homebrew, hacks, and boom, you're playing on real hardware, and it's amazing. It used to be called the SD2 SNES, by, I think, Ikari, working in tandem, I believe, with the uh, Cricks. Not sure how it works behind the scenes, but there you go, and, and the case is a midnight blue, 
which is sort of looks like purple to me. Looks a bit like purple, and I got it from Castlemania Games to go with the eventual clear atomic purple case that I have. The only thing that I need to do is uh, to probably paint the controller portions and, for and the eject button because unfortunately they don't have that in their color. But there you go. Uh, I love it. I I was gonna you know put a label here immediately because it changed the shell, but now I don't know. I kind of like the clean look. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do anything with it. And uh, very cool. Put that aside. And finally, we talk about the game. I do have the game physically for the Super Famicom. I love Donkey Kong. I have all three of them here. See what the cover looks like. This is the first one. Then you get the second one. Then you get the third one. Uh, which my daughter loves. My daughter's name is Dixie. So when she's first time she's seen this year and has uh was it Dix's Double Trouble or something? Very big on the screen. She, she was like, oh, this, that's my name. She was freaking out. This lovely little girl. My girl. I love her. Uh, anyways, uh, well, there you go. Donkey Kong. What can I tell you about this game? Uh, so me in here about Toxo is not too boring. Yeah. Donkey Kong. It's an awesome game. I grew up with it. Uh, the, the graphics were mind-blowing, the action, the control, the music, my good, the music, man, I listen to the music anytime, anywhere, in a Donkey Kong, any of the three, don the original trilogy, the music is outstanding, excellent, so many memorable tracks on all three of them, all across the board, and the characters, the Kongs, they're, they're lovely. Uh, I love Dixie, I love Diddy, uh, I love Kitty, the, and Donkey Kong is awesome. Uh, I, the game is awesome. I just love the game. Uh, the graphics at the time, they, well, they use the silicon graphics. I know you probably heard it a thousand times before, but if you haven't, they used basically, they made 3D models and then made 2D sprites out of them. And that the game at the time looked incredibly unique. It was something to behold first time i saw it was at a cousin's house it had a super nintendo junior right a small one and it had this game in and my mind was blown immediately i couldn't stop playing i i played a lot of birds out there i played the hell out of this game i loved it and i still do i can sit down and play donkey kong at any time especially the first one it's just, it's kind of pretty straightforward it's uh, not as long as the other ones and uh, well, eventually I'll be playing the second and the third one here too, which I think I'm leaning towards doing a completion, uh, you know, video, like 100% because if you 100% it opens new levels. While well, the first one, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't do much of anything but just give you 101%. Second one is 102%, third one is 103%. And that's basically it. I love those games to death. I will play them here, the, the sequels here. And I want to play the modern ones. I never touched them. I think one time I played one on the Wii or something. Well, there you go. That's the 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 CRT. That's my opinion of the game. The game is awesome. I don't have I don't have a, anything bad to say about Donkey Kong. Like not a fucking thing. I just can't. I just can't. There, there's nothing there for me to complain about. Like I usually have some negative points about a game or two. It's just <coughs> sorry. It's just. Uh, it's to me, it's to the perfection. It's just perfect. I, you might have complaints about the game. I, I really don't. It's I don't even I, don't even lose my temper playing this game. You, should, you know, I have a bit of a temper. And usually, I get angry at games. Donkey Kong is chill. I sit down. I play. It's awesome. I love it. Uh, all right. I think that's uh, everything. If I forgot something, well, fuck it. Let's uh, go on and play the game. And that's it. Thank you for listening. Turn on the console. And let's go. Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Now, oh, I'll write a second there.
All right, let's get started. I'm not gonna erase this file here. I'm gonna go for a new one and let's see how we do. One player, Congo Jungle, here we go. Jungle hijinks. So if you go back here, there's a life. And there's this crib. I I just love the environments in this game. Uh, it's amazing. Look at it. All the details, the butterflies flying around, the bananas. Such a unique time. Shut up, Donkey Kong. Jesus. It's got a poster of candy. And if you go this way here. So his nanners are all gone. Okay, so up here you can get this. Not sure what the, what it what it does. Not, I mean you you. Let's get Diddy here. You could go the whole way and oh, fucker. Okay, you can do this. You can pretty much go the whole stage with this stuff. But let's just play normal here. Oh. Gotcha, yeah. Fuck yeah. Now, I am a... Not great, but I'm a tiny bit better at this game than uh, Gargoyle's Quest. That's for, that's for sure. Oh. Damn it. Not that great to go up. Damn it! Yeah, you, you and your big fucking mouth. There you go. I'm good at this game. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll do fine. The music is upbeat, is excellent. So, plenty of secrets abound here. If you... I can't remember if there's anything there or if you can actually reach. Yeah, you can. You can reach anywhere. It is very great. You have the second jump here, see? When you go... And the same with the... If you press select, you can't swap monkeys. And there you go. He has the same thing. And there's Rambi. You have animals in this game. This game is amazing. And boom. Secret. Get yourself some nanners here. Na, 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 na. Fucking awesome game. And if you spell the word Kong, you get an extra life. And watch out for those indentations here. I think there's another one here, right? Is that it? Oh yeah, those things. So, okay, just pick one here. So we want the frog. So who comes before the frog here? Shut up, donkey. Damn. It's the dolphin. So when you see the dolphin jump, that's the trick for this one. There you go. Works every time. Most of the time. Sometimes. There'll be a lot of levels. This game is just pure fun. You see that one there? Wait. That file I had that was one sitting, just sat down one, one night and played a game in its entirety. Ropey Rampage. It was a lot harder when I was a, a kid, that's that, that's for sure. Careful of those fellers here. Ah, shit. Fucking hell, it's dark here. Okay, uh, fucking around here a little too much. Up. I want to talk about the difference. See, Donkey Kong is a lot bigger, so there's there's difference between the Kongs. Oh, shit. Can I still get it? Eh, probably. If you get three of those, then you, you get to participate in a game. Yeah, I want to show you this. Let, let's do Kong. Look. When he comes again, the armadillo. That was the same shit. What the hell is that? There's something down there? No. There'll be a lot of secrets that I'll miss, that's for sure. It looks amazing on the set, this game. It, you know, some people are not fans of, uh, I think there's something here. You fuck off. What the hell? Uh, Diddy Kong, he holds the bear in front of him, so if there's a secret, he's liable to find. But there's none here. Oh, God damn it. 
the game is pretty generous with the, uh, you know, replacing a character you lost. Right, let's, let's push on forward here, quit fucking around. The music is to die for is excellent. I could have jumped on this thing. Yeah. yeah, everything about the music is. Have you ever heard uh, what is a sticker brush symphony or something from Donkey Kong Country 2? My goodness, the music here it's it's crazy how good it is. Look at look at the look at the graphics of this game. It's insane to have this on 16 bit. There we go. Of course, my eyes are itching as usual. Fucking cunts. All right, Cranky. I always, uh, I've always suspected that Cranky is the original DK. A whole mob of Kremlins just passed through. Go bananas in the snake pit of the Reptile Rumble. Funky can send you anywhere if you're ready, you've already been on the island in a flash with that. I'm getting tired, I gotta take me a nap. And again, just look at the environment, how awesome it looks. Oh, this game is full of little details, you know. So we're going to the Cavis Reptile Rumble. So the caves, they were never my, like my real favorite. Okay, it's just cause it looks a little bit monotonous. This is cool, look at Look at that. Okay. Follow the barrels and sometimes it leads you uh, good stuff. In this case, we've got a life. A lot better than just getting bananas. Okay. And those things. I tend not to break those barrels because I want to keep it just in case I fuck up and then you have a replacement. Look at that. Easy peasy. You don't have to do nothing on that one. Yeah. Ooh. It's an excellent game to control. The controls are very tight in this game. It's just great. You know, it's a great game. I played this a lot uh, when I was a kid. And the second one as well. The third one I did play, but not, not as much as uh, those here. Oh. There we go. Kind of thing here. I think there'll be. Damn you! I wonder if it was here. Sometimes it's like a hard and tail. Now the thing uh, with this game here, the hundred percent, and yeah, is oh, something up there. No. Well, those guys, I tend to wait for them to get close to me and then do the roll, and then. Uh, get, uh, I don't know if they respond. So basically that was idiotic. If I had jumped on top of them, I'd be able to get that thing and I'll forget about it. So that was kind of dumb. Kind of missed out on that shit. Those guys, you should, you should get me when I was a kid. There we go, at least we got the Kong thing. Now the first water level, and I want you, I'm gonna be quiet for a while. I want you to pay attention to this music. Cause it's, it's a shame I gotta talk here all the, all the time because the music's so great. See, that life is kind of tricky. If you go that way, this game... So, did you listen to this song? Isn't it, isn't it beautiful? I, I strong, if you're not familiar with this game as much, I strongly suggest, even if you don't like the game, to go look for the soundtrack. And they have now, uh, of 
all the, all the whole trilogy, they have remastered. So restored, whatever you want to call. Because, you know, the Super Nintendo is all about that reverb. We don't need another another one. I wonder if there's anything up there. Let me check. Quick, 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 quick. Right here. There we go. Yeah, this game, the gameplay is excellent and encourages, encourages uh, exploration or playing playing the game fast is also fun. Whichever whichever way you play Donkey Kong Country, there's no right or wrong way. Sometimes I want to take a look here. I tend, again, to avoid touching the barrels. Now, if you don't have your, uh, you know, your swordfish helper here, this part will be a bit tricky with the sharks. Yeah, keep going, because there you go. We just need the J. Number one in the hood, G. Oh, damn. Fuck, <laughs> going crazy here. And that number one in the hood, G, is uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. You ever watch that show? That show is awesome. Tell you what I watched yesterday, uh, John Wick 4. That was fucking awesome. We'll talk about that later. There you go. Exit. Now we got Funky Kong here. Fine, I'll click on him, but it's kind of dumb because there's no use for him right now. Just show you. There you go. Whoa, dudes. My, na my name is Funky Kong. What the fuck? All right. I want to hear what he had to say. So, yeah, basically getting on this barrel weird airplane here. The music is awesome. And you can fast travel pretty much. But right now, there's no use for it. So now it's all about the barrels and the thing here. Whoa. Excellent, but let's do that. Uh, I'm not sure how to feel about that. I mean, I'm here to show you the game. There you go. I want to play the game. I don't want to skip the whole fucking level like a coward. Oh, I'm pretty sure there was a there will be a thing here, isn't it? I love this thing, by the way. I do this for my daughter in bed. My tiny daughter, she loves it. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm not not a big fan of skipping levels. You know, if I buy a game, and uh, why are you playing on the Everdrive? No, I actually have the game for the Super Famicom. Not that it matters, anyways. If I just had it on the Everdrive, so would. Now, do I, is this death here? No, okay, I couldn't see the bottom. All right, so there'll be a lot of uh, stages like this, like with the barrels. Now, oh, damn it. Okay, let's see if I can, there we go. Calm down, doctor, okay. See, okay, that, that's essential because you get your, uh, the letter O. As the game, oh. As the game progresses, you become harder. Ah, oh, damn it. I I think you need to get past this guy here. Can you put this down, dude? No, no, no. It's gonna blow. Pick it up. Okay. You can drop it. Let's see if I can. Urgh. Fucker! Damn it, I wanted to. It's here, dude. Okay. Diddy Kong, which is the tiny one, he's a lot better, a lot better at jumping. Okay, this one is just, just the timing. There we go. No hesitation here for me. Get up there. And there we go. And exit. Let's go. No, no, you're not. You're not stealing credit from Diddy. You piece of shit. It's just, oh, there's candy. So here's where you save your game. Uh, use your ink ribbons here. Hi, I'm Candy Kong, and this is my save point. If you want to save your current game, jump to my spin and save barrel. And yeah, I find a kiss. There we go. Nine percent. 
And now is boss time. Very not his lair. Okay. So his jump gets progressively crazier. And then the last one, you gotta really watch out. Still, oh, it's done. Yeah. Okay, that's the first world clear. Monkey Mines, uh, things start to get a little bit more complicated. I think there's the cart here, the on and off stage. There's some challenges stages here. Now, I won't be 100% in this game. I find this game is a bit kind of tricky to 100% because I was looking it up if there's any indication of, you know, stages that you 100%. For example, on Donkey Kong Country 2, once you clear the stage, you 100% of the stage, you found every secret there is to it, There'll be a, uh, an exclamation mark, you know, uh, right next to the stage's uh, name. And here, I don't think there's none of that. So there's not really an indication. And God damn it, it looks good here in person. I hope it, it, I hope a little bit of it is capturing camera. It looks a bit sharper than the usual. So, because this is now 800 TV out uh, monitor, my goodness. I was a little bit skeptical because sometimes. Sometimes those very sharp monitors can do a disservice to like early 3D. I think the 600 line monitors, 500 lines, even 400 lines, it looks a bit, for me personally, it suits better those early 3D games. And this one here is not a 3D game, but there's a lot of 3D graphics. You know, they're sprites, but they're based, if you know Donkey Kong, it's silicon graphics, so they, uh, they just made sprites out of it, so I wasn't sure if the sharpness would work, and by by God, it does. It, it looks surreal in person. I, you know, this is this monitor is excellent, and the colors are so bright and vivid. My goodness, to die for. All right, have a quick smoke here. Let's go straight to the monkey mines, and let's uh, see what's going on here. What's the hubba bubba? What's the hubba bubba? What's the hoobla? That's a word I want to say. It's a funny word. See, what's this hoobla about? I learned that for, uh, from Moist Critical. He's been using that word. He learned some new words and then just, <laughs> he starts using a lot. It's good. Wink his walkway. Oh, yeah. It's starting to get uh, a little bit more serious here now. Look at the lighting. You know, I know, I know it's not true lighting as far as the stage. It's not like proper 3D lighting. It's, 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 this game really impresses me. Now get your frog pal here. I forgot, I forget their names. Swanky or something. No, this game was, was made in Britain. Very talented people here work on this. I watched many document, whoa, whoa, whoa. Many documentaries about it. Good, good people too. They look like uh, they're the kind of people you want to have a beer with. I'm so happy to be playing them games. Oh, what the? F you fuck! I, I didn't think that bee would hurt uh, the frog guy. All right. Oh well. Yeah, not not like I needed him anyway. You don't get to keep your animals here like you get with Super Mario World. You keep your shoes. All right, there's a cart. I, pro I think that's the part that I'll probably die at least once. So here's all about the fast reflexes. I will focus here a tiny bit. If you jump too early there, you kind of screwed. Yeah, you should die a lot. <laughs> on this stage when I was a kid. Holy shit. Ah, damn it. That banana's tricky to get. You gotta, you gotta jump early, but it's risky. And then those things, obviously, you can't hit them. They're obstacles. You, you lose your calm if you do. Ah, you fucking piece of shit. Damn it. Oh, damn it, I didn't get the ladder. Yeah, Mr. Alive. Well done, idiot. Yeah, fuck. I can't believe I got hit there. What the fuck was... I don't want to die here. 
I won't lie to you. I want to clear this first, first try. It's important to me. I want to brag about it in the uh, during the recess. A few of those guys. Oh yeah, and there's one asshole here. Son of a bitch, I hate that guy. <laughs> when I was a kid, man, you make it this far, like, yeah, and then that guy comes, and no, I'm gonna piss in your fucking parade, bitch. All right, bouncer bonanza. Oh, it's like one of very dark. You know, I might play here, if you notice the pixel art, I, uh, shut the fuck up. I, uh, I use it, I didn't do the, God damn it. The pixel art myself. That's from uh, ooh, a bootleg by um, Hummer Team. Team, they're very famous back in the day for making uh, some very good bootlegs. Except for the me. Ah, oh, what? The Distracted here talking about fucking boot Chinese bootlegs. I uh, will talk about it. You fucking be. You know what? It's personal. Come here. Get out. No, no. Hey, bitch, remember me? Fuck you! Fuck you! You notice my hesitation with the fuck you there, because I actually thought I died, and that would have been embarrassed and disgraceful, even. But uh, there you go. All right, Gon, we got you. Nice, nice throw. That was, uh, that was impressive. <laughs> Yeah, those guys jumping around, man. I should die so many times on them when I was a kid. Okay, now we gotta kind of carry this tire here very carefully. And you're still gonna... To get the checkpoint, but you also need it here. But don't push it too far, because you'll fall. But it, it does respawn, so you're not... It's not like you will uh, lose it forever. Because that'll be kind of broken if you did. Oh. Okay, just... Oh, I always feel feel nervous when I can't see where I'm landing. Okay, there's a thing here. There we go. I don't remember a thing or two about this game. Oh, it's the frog guy. And uh, the frog guy is like an extra hit anyways. Whoa, you f You know what? I'll just get another one, bitch. Goddamn, those bees are giving me the business right now. Huh? I'll get another one. I was done with that one anyway. Beach has bees. The frog is, I don't know, his... It's just his hitbox. I'm not sure what what you can and cannot do. See, we, we got hit by that uh, orange bee, but he can't kill the regular bees. Oh, shit. Oh, no! <laughs> that was, that was stupid. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with this game. Most of the time I die here is just nonsense, just not paying attention. It's nothing like uh, serious, although later, I, I think there's some challenges coming later, but right now it's not, it's not really challenging, for, at least not for me. So if I die here, it's just bullshit deaths, you know? It's nonsense. Like, like that one. What happened there? I don't know. Get the frog guy again. Alright. Yeah, I'm not interested in doing like uh I could I could try to I could probably do a challenge with this game here is one of the few games I would feel comfortable if I wanted to do it like a no death challenge. But uh, not today. I just wanna play here, have fun. It, it's okay. It's okay not to be a master of video games every time, you know? Like the actual 52 guy. Shit, I broke the barrel. Shouldn't... Try not to break those barrels because you, uh, you might need them and you regret it. We, we won't need this because we have the frog here, so... Pretty sure, yeah, he jumps high enough. Should have... Should have grabbed those. Whoa. Yeah, you can if you if you do this you still oh there we go. Oh this is fine as hell. 
I love the tire mechanic. The, the physics of this game is just awesome. Straight down. Yeah, it's awesome. Just once you learn to play this game competently, it, it just feels great. It's one of the greatest Super Nintendo games for me. Stop and go station. So this one is interesting. So right now, so see those guys, they're invincible. So the idea is you hit stop and they'll stop for a while. And you can't get through. So you got to be quick. It's all about being very quick here. You can't mess around. Oh shit, even that, taking that long there. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, fuck. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't know, Donkey Kong. He's a, little bit, he's a bit slower. I think on this stage here, I do prefer Diddy Kong. He's just, he's just better. It's just quicker. Okay. I think if you brought the barrel here, it'll be some secrets, but... There we go. Okay, you want to drop down kind of perfectly. There we go. Oh. Shit. There we go. We made it. Let's go save it. Why not? Sure can. All right, so the next one we're looking at Funky Flies, no? Mute Stone Mayhem. Oh yeah, this is like a Nasdaq place. And straight up there's a lot of the, um, ah crap, oh, there we go. Can I get another hour? Oh, asking too much. Okay, look at this. If you hit him with Diddy. And that's the advantage of Donkey Kong. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I love using the dynamite here. The TNT is excellent. Okay, I don't think... I don't think there's any secrets here. If you drop the barrel, even gently, but you wait a while, it just explodes. So now... Oh, I thought that there's one that follows you. Oh, and this helps you be a jumping. Oh no no! Oh, you fuck! That thing tends. Oh, <laughs> okay. Right, oh. oh man, there's a bonus area. Can I? No, there's no way the thing is. Oh no, that's gone forever. Yeah, the stupid mistake was trying to jump over that thing. So just bring the tire here if, you, if you're playing this and... You know my Vitas are... Oh! Get out of here, you fuck. My Vitas are not about, are not about guidance. There's far way, way better uh, walkthroughs. It's not walkthroughs, I just do playthroughs. You know? I, I, don't, I don't have interest in doing walkthroughs. I don't I want to I don't want to be a voice of authority in any game to be quite frank. Let's see if there's anything to this. Okay. Try not to fuck up this time. So there's liable to be something here, but can't see if we can play ball here. Oh shit, but... NO! What the fuck? Oh, you know what? Let's move on. You know how many fucking lives do I need, you know? Oh, that was a fuck up. Alright, let's go. Let's go, screw it. Oh, great. <laughs> I 
I hate dying like this. It's kind of stupid. I mean, I killed a guy. At least I recuperated my life there. Okay. I don't know. I feel like I'm 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 a bit mumbly today. No, when you're not, I feel like I'm out of my not speaking clearly. You know. Sorry if I come across this way. Let's try this again, but no, let's not because I'm just gonna die, and I. Do I need a? Maybe. Yeah, I think I'm being dumb. I think is. I think all you do is this. Look at this. Overcomplicating things, my friend. There's the frog feller. So that's what what that was. Yeah, a little bit. I I overcomplicated that one. You know. Whoa! Whoa! The fuck! You bitch! <laughs> yeah, he's great. He can jump on top of this thing. This is not even a problem. I just find his hitbox a bit. Hey! Bitch! Look at this coconut shit. It's nonsense. There we go. Yeah, he does make the stage easier, I suppose. Mm, here's kind of, here's kind of tricky because you don't want to jump high. You want to jump low. See, that's when he goes. Cause, the fuck, am I supposed to do with him there? Now, shit like this is kind of like for the pros. But look. Ah! <laughs> No, 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 no! <laughs> Serves you right, asshole. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, that's fine. It, it, this game is so fun that even dying is, is just not... It doesn't make me as angry. You know, it's, it's just... It's fine. This game is a lot of fun. Yeah, get, definitely get the frog guy because he, he helps a lot here. So I'm talking about the... I died of greed there. The greed. That's what happened. So, okay, get the frog guy again. I'll get, get the bananas. It's kind of annoying to get the bananas when him. He, he sort of jumps over them. I will get that fucking banana man as a matter of honor here. You get out of here. Look at this. That's how fast it throws those fucking coconuts. Oh, why would a bird throw a coconut? Is that what that is? Look at this. Damn thing. Yeah, I gotta stop dying with bullshit. So, this bit here, I don't get it with the frog. I mean, there's no way. I mean, I, I bet there is a way, but I, I haven't figured it out. Okay. Uh, Diddy Kong for the rascal. Let's go. You greedy fuck. No! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Give me that shit. Yeah! Yeah! I just, it's a matter of, uh, you know, I just have to do it. I was the last boss, and I have a little smoke here. What crank has say? He can't give you tips, but you're lucky you caught me. I was just heading out. In jungle hijinks, stick to the treetops, you earn extra lives. If you find any barrels, with DK on them smashing open, your buddy might be inside. Well, you're Captain fucking Hindsight here, ain't you, Cranky? I mean, okay. is the fucking boss of the se second world already and you're telling me about the DK bear, which is something you figure out immediately. Oh. All right. So it's just a matter of jumping on his head. There we go. Have a thing with birds throwing up coconuts here. Yeah. Another world cleared. What a fun game. I, I I'm uh, I even have a hard time raging with this game at all because it's just you know I say that but then later who knows what happened there. But uh, so far I just I, I'm at loss for words because I love this game so much. I don't know what you say, to be honest, is just, this is my childhood right here, it looks great, it's just awesome, the music is so memorable, everything about it is awesome, I love Donkey Kong, did you, did you watch the Mario movie, it's fucking awesome, I loved it, fuck are the critics on about, 
pieces of shit. If we got him a captain, the fucking movie's awesome. Listen to me. Don't listen to the critics. Listen to the audience. And the fucking box office of, I think at the time, at the time of speaking now, that I'm speaking to you here now is 1.3 billion. Like what? <laughs> That's a box office, huh? I think it surpassed Frozen as uh, the most popular, I don't know, animated movie ever. I don't know. You know, when I think of a very popular, awesome animated movie from back in the day, Toy Story, such a classic. But anyways, the Mario movie is awesome. I even thought, because speaking of Donkey Kong, even, uh, let's get in here. I thought that Seth Rogen would piss me off. I, I don't like him anymore. He's, I don't know. There's, there's a few things. I'm in the sphere, right? He's, uh, a <laughs> yeah. But he, a lot of people say he ruined the movie. He's just Seth Rogen. I, I, you know, and I don't like him. I'm already biased to not like him. Although, you know, knocked up some good movies with him. But it's just he's a one-trick pony, a one-string banjo, you know. And it's kind of a, a ding is a little bit behind the scene. A lot of people are. But he, he does okay, but he's a kind of a one-track mind when it comes to acting. A lot of people are like Adam Sandler. Although I watch movies with Adam Sandler that I like. You know, Happy Gilmore was fucking awesome. You better watch out, pal. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. You... You eat pieces of shit for breakfast? No. <laughs> the first time I saw that scene and heard that, I was just, I couldn't stop laughing. You know, Austin Powers is also awesome. It's a fucking awesome movie. So many good good movies out there, you know, classic, classic shit. But the Mario movie, man, I was impressed. It was awesome. It was very good. And Seth Rogen did fine. I, Jack Black, I think, stole the show. And even, uh, what's his name, uh, Chris Pratt, I, when I heard, I like him, you know, I like him uh, as an actor and as a person, I think he's, he seemed to be very humble and cool, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel in him as Mario either, but you know, he, uh, he came around, you know, he, 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 he got him, he got it done, I thought it was great, he did a great Mario, I think they made, it's funny, they nodded to the show, the Mario Bros. show. I grew up with that show, Super Mario Super Show. It's the Super Mario Super Show. Do the Mario just like that. Ba ba ba. And does a little tripping. Captain Lou Albano, another fucking awesome dude. A lot of good people out there, you know, make us uh, entertain. But a Mario movie, if you uh, like Mario, Donkey Kong, all that, go watch it. It, if you haven't already, you know, it was awesome. It's very, very, very good. One of the best animated movies I watch of late. Late. I, I don't tend to like those types of movies very much. More when I was younger. But the Mario movie, man. Would I sit down and watch it again right the fuck now? And I would. It's that great. It's that great. It's awesome. I hope they make a Luigi's Mansion movie. That'll be cool. That'll be fair. I love Luigi's Mansion. I will play it on the channel here, definitely. There'll be lots of games here. Don't worry about it. I'm pumping those out, baby. No more fancy shit. Let's just sit down and play games. And let's go. Enough with the, with the smoke in here. Vulture Culture. My favorite name of any stage ever. Vulture Culture. <laughs> it's It works. Look at the music, too. And by the way, no timer. I love that. I love Mario, but I, I like to not have timer. Except for uh, Donkey Kong never shows up with that shit, huh? I like it, but uh, he, he overdoes it. It's just too much. All right. And look at the environment here, man. God damn it, this game is fucking awesome. You know, I was... Uh... Oh, there, there's a thing in there. Wait, whenever you see those... Right? Come on, dude. Right here. There we go. Letter K. Okay, I don't need that thing anymore. Yeah, it was on a PlayStation Reddit. Definitely a secret here. Let's go. You fuck! The secret was me getting fucked. Damn it, I could swear there was... Oh! That was a uh, that was not a bullshit death. That was a death by mistake. Definitely, I, I panicked there and jumped for some reason. What a freak! The music so good. What I was it talking about before this? Oh yeah, the Reddit thing. Yeah, guys saying why 
with PS5 now, why would you go back to PS1? There was a guy that bought a PS1, like literally the PS1, the tiny one, and then the, the PS1 or a PSX, the PlayStation original. And a guy not understanding why anyone would play the original PlayStation. I was gonna chime in, but then the guy wouldn't talk to me, to me. And you know Reddit, right? Just say the wrong thing, I don't know. Again? Hey, supposed to learn from your mistakes, right? I, I'm not getting the message here. That was unfortunate. There you go. Oh, this can be tricky, but you don't die here. But if you get hit by them, the game is over. So you want to keep your distance from them because they get faster and faster. So instead of concentrating on getting the bananas all the time, you get them. Concentrate on avoiding them. And what? Oh shit! Give me that. Give me the fucking banana, dude. There we go, we made it, and you, your prize is alive. And look at the little animation, this is so great. The folks are rare, man, they knew how to make a game, you know? Fucking part of Microsoft now. Well, they did make, uh... But they got the original folks, some of the original, I think. A Killer Instinct, the new one? It was new to me, you know, you know what I'm talking about, modern, modern uh, iteration. Uh, I think it was awesome. I bought the arcade stick. I like Killer Instinct, but I always sucked at it with the combos. I need to, I need to sit down at some point and play Killer Instinct and like actually learn like to do Mortal Kombat, and learn to do the awesome combos. I think here as well. Oh no! What the fuck? You bastards! Okay, this one you get, you want to get the thing here. There we go. The bird. You know, the bird's the word. That's what I heard. I keep breaking those barrels. Because, you know, like here, you get hit here, and then what? You look like a sh bastard. What's my prize? A fucking nothing barrel. Oh, it's here. Hit! I knew it. All right, still got it. Okay, they, they get progressively faster. We got the letter M. Good shit. You can still get hit here, so be careful. That's it. Exit. I just love the environments, man. So great. Treetop that town. Oh, this one is awesome. You can see there's a thing here. This is interesting. Look. I think here's the one. No! Damn it! Okay, now it's this guy. Okay, I'm, I'm, let's go, let's go. There we go. Oh, yeah, this one, just keep your eye on the banana. The, the ladder before, just same deal, okay? You jump when you see, now when you see the uh, O, you jump. And when you see the N, you jump, that's it. It's that easy. mind me if I go quiet sometimes. Like I said, don't have to jibber jabber the whole way for no reason. You know, if I got nothing to say, I will say nothing about it. You know? Should have just done the rolling forward thing. I did not practice before. Uh, you fucking cunt. Okay, I didn't practice before playing. Oh, come on. Really? Those guys fucking fall out of the middle. Okay, this one you gotta be careful. You gotta. So this launches automatically. So, ooh, man. Got lucky, that's all. Okay, that's fine here. Ooh. And that banana is a clue for this. There we go. I never see a banana is definitely a clue for something. Let's try to aim for the middle. Oh, you fuck. 
Oh, lucky. Okay, a second chance. Don't fuck up. Yeah. I don't need it anymore. There we go. So, yeah, you want to kind of calculate the bear before it. Oh. What the fuck? Just sitting there, dude? Beautiful. Mind those mother. Fuck was that? Nope. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, no thanks. No thanks, bro. Forest Frenzy. This is all about. A bit disappointing, but okay. I mean, you know, oh, this is with the ropes. So basically, yeah, this is gonna get crazy with the. Uh, I think this is the one. There's a part with a lot of uh, bees. Get out of here, man. Pick up that shit. You're gonna die. There we go. Oh, yeah, to get this one, you wanna do this shit, and there we go. Yeah, so you, obviously you don't want to go nowhere near that bay, so you want to pos oh, position yourself here. Yeah. Big fucking deal, huh? <laughs> there we go. Those guys are pissing me off. That's the one. That's it. So just up and down and avoid the bays and that's it. Self-explanatory, really. I think there's one of those with like birds that actually moving. The music's so great. Oh yeah, now they're moving, so pay mind of them. It's just looking at the edge of the at the right edge of the screen and just planning ahead. It's pretty simple. So cool. There we go. Ah, damn it! Bitch ass. I've gotten that life before. Oh, there's the birds is here. So some of them are quick. Definitely. Damn it, I could swear there'll be a thing in there, huh? Shut down. There we go. Missed some secrets there, but that's okay. Temple Tempest. Tempest 2000. That's a cool game. I never, said I never played a 3000. Oh, quick. All right, this thing follows you. I'm gonna go with Diddy here because it's quicker and you gotta haul ass. That's pretty much it. So this stage here is all about just hauling ass. See a right chair? Wanted to show that it. it follows you pretty much. That's what's going on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice try. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I obviously, drop down. I kind of drop down, you know. That's from Sling Blade, by the way. So there's, there's this. They're all at the Linda's home. There's a lady called Linda, and there's this fat guy. Uh, what's his name? The poet, and he just <laughs> he just says some crazy. Watch that. The poet, uh, sling blade. And it's just uh, some nonsense. He stand by the vent of the laundry laundromat for not for the. I forgot the. <laughs> this is just dumb. And then in the end, he goes and I kind of drop down, you know. And it's, it's very funny. 
my description is not funny. It's in fact, painfully unfunny. But it, oh, there we go. But if you watch the uh, the actual clip, it's very funny. All right, so here you don't want to waste a lot of time. It's all about collecting as many of those things in the all allocated time. So you want to avoid repeating, like walking around a place, not collecting anything because you're wasting time. So don't worry about like not missing a field. It's just collecting as mi as much as you can. Like this shit. Like you want to avoid downtime like this. So go up. There we go. And I think past 400, I count as victory. It's good. I mean, you can get more if you're quicker. I'm, I'm cool with 400. There we go. All right, time to haul ass again. Shit. Okay. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> ah! Damn it, I knew it. Now, this is awkward. You went ahead, but you think you're safe? No, you're pretty much dead. I've always thought this is kind of weird. I mean, can I make it? Oh, there you go. No, it's fine now. Whining about, hear about nothing. And we'll do a little save there at Canada Save Point. Alright, now we're Orangutan, Orangutan Gang. Is that the, the Wu Tan Clan? The joke? Very cool. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, let's see. Do this here. I like doing it. Where does this end? Death. That's where. I never like doing the barrel thing. It's just like you heard Diddy Kong there trapped. It's like, what's the fucking point? Maybe there's a point to it. I, I fail to see it. I'm just... Oh, look at the sunset, how beautiful it is. It's so beautiful here. I hope the cameras capture some, some of it. It's very, very colorful and beautiful in person. The music is cool. Now I missed the time in there. A bit embarrassing. Look at the sun, look at the colors here, man. This monitor fucking rules. SLR mods, mod shop, thanks dude. This is surreal. Surreal, this monitor in person. I can never capture, look at this. Isn't that cool? Cause this shit tall. Oh, this has always a piece of shit. God, I, I don't like him. It's, look, look at him, it looks like a asshole. Okay. Yeah, it's, it can be tricky here with a with a bird. Oh, let's get that. Ah, you fuck! Ah. Give me the bird. Give me the fucking bird. That's kind of sad. What's up there? Oh. There we go. What's in here? Estoy curioso. See? Boom. There we go. I knew there'd be goodies in here. Push, push that thing. Come on. Nothing here? Caseta Malanga. Whoa, there was a bear on there. Oh, this guy, man. Damn it. Come on, what's up there? There we go. I knew there'd be something. There's always something up there. Ah, my neck is killing me here, man. The position, you know. It's fucked. 
Gotta get more presentable gloves. The reason I cut this here is because the uh, it's bright yellow, so I can distract them. But they do sell some that come with a gray, uh, I don't know what you call that, same. Clam City. Hmm. A thousand clams, huh, Peter? Oh, there's a water level. Oh, okay, I remember this. Awesome music. This, I think this will be this in Northern Hemisphere. It's uh, my favorite tracks of this, the first entry. They all have great music, like no exceptions. I also want to play the newer ones, like, uh, what, a Tropical Freeze? So many good games I need to play. I've never played any modern Donkey Kong. Like the Wii ones. I think there's one on the Wii. There's the GameCube one with the, with the Congo drums. Definitely something down there. Mm, I feel like I missed a secret here somewhere. Oh. So if you want, if you want better control while you're swimming here, you hold down and then press the B more often. I. Uh, <laughs> Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We got a, we got a, oh. we got a barrel here. There we go. I see. That's why I don't like to fuck with the barrels. If I don't need them, I tend to not use them. Please don't, don't do the same mistake. So beautiful to me. You know, another one that has good music. Uh, Top Gear, the uh, game. And if you look up uh, Horizon, what is it called? Horizon Chase, fuck, I forgot the name. Horizon Chase Turbo or something. It's like the spiritual modern sequel. It's very good. I like, the, uh, we missed the KC. I knew it, I told you, I done told you, didn't I? That I missed the secret somewhere. I just had that gut feeling. That sinking feeling, you know? But I done goofed. Oh shit, come on. Anything here? No. Holy fucking mother of god, what the fuck? Guy went nuts here. Yeah, they have a thing with putting uh, some crazy enemies at the uh, exit. Bumble and Bumble B Rumble. That a boss, yeah. Oh, it's the B. Definitely Diddy Kong here. Because he you don't even have to throw the thing. You just hold it. So you can't go like a like a Spanish matador here and doing the OLA thing. There we go. You don't want to be trapped in a corner. That should you know, just Hello. You can do this, you don't need a you know. Ooh, he, oh, just quick at the end there. And then at the end, I don't like to do that too much. When I like to keep a distance. There we go. Hello. <sighs> By the way, I always have to say this. <laughs> that sound of here, that ain't me farting. That's just a damn chair. You know, like, it's very loud. Bring the microphone back here. Just having a tiny, tiny break. Yeah, I keep forgetting that this is a condenser microphone, so when I'm away from the microphone, you can barely hear me. So, but I got it one of them arms, arm things, and uh, basically just move it whenever I move. I need to, I need to rest my neck here a tiny bit. I got, I got to do something about it. The, the chair is too high and the monitor is too low, and. I'm tall, and I, I gotta somehow, but the base of my neck really hurts when I'm playing games here. It's my major complaint, complaint with this setup. Just chill. Yeah, John Wick 4, if you watch all the other John Wicks, John Wick movies. And of course, I'm not gonna fucking spoil here for you, you, you know. Did you hear that shit? You're like watching, let's say you're watching 
somebody played Donkey Kong Country and let's say a separate issue you're uh, you're planning to watch John Wick and then a motherfucker go and ruins it for you tells you the plot or some shit and spoil it that's crap so the movie's good go watch it if you like that kind of kind of stuff it was very interesting as usual they had one shot one scene that it was straight out of Hotline Miami which is a game I'm deeply deeply aware of but I haven't played it yet but oh by god I will I just ordered on Amazon uh, Hotline Miami for the Nintendo Switch and a bottle of Bacardi that's right I'll be drinking when I'm playing that Bacardi now you think Miami and I take a, a white Bacardi Carta Blanca I love it I love Bacardi I haven't drunk a long time and this might shock you I drink I drink and eat I don't all the spirits I drink neat I just don't like I don't like even refrigerated I just like them neat room temperature that's it I don't like ice I don't like mix this mix that I'm not saying I hate cocktails I, li- I like my martini shaken not stirred uh, my wife used to prepare it for vodka martinis straight out of James Bond and yes shaken not stirred uh, we had a shaker here it could shake this thing uh, and it was awesome I miss drinking that put a little olive in there I like my drink, and I have. I'm not. I'm not an alcoholic, you know. Just so we're clear, uh, it's been. I think last time I can't remember last time I, I drank. Maybe it was the sake I drank one night on Tenshu. No, I bought a bottle of whiskey in between. It does go though when it's here. Uh, anyways, Bacardi. I wanted the 700, uh, the one liter bottle. For me, when I buy liquor, I like one liter. I like, you know, bang for my buck. I don't, I don't like to buy the 7 of Seattle, like nothing to me, you know. But that's all I could get. Uh, couldn't, couldn't find a seller on Amazon. And eBay doesn't do alcohol, which is a, it's kind of shit. You know, not a, as far as I know, i never seen it there. Just empty fucking bottles. Why would I buy an empty bottle of anything, you know. So I got a Bacardi Carta Blanca and... I'm going to be playing Hotline Miami, but now I done goofed. And again, always a reminder, am I boring you to tears here, to tears right now? Just fast forward. You got you got your controls right there, you know, in your control panel. So anyways, uh, Hotline Miami. So I, uh, I bought it, the Switch one, and then I realized when I looked at it, because I never actually played, and when I don't play a game, I haven't played a game yet, I don't like to spoil and watch a playthrough and none of that shit. You know, I love G-Star, and there's several videos of his, many videos that I have never watched, despite being a massive fan, because those are games that I want to play, so I don't want to spoil them. As much as I like him, I don't watch somebody playing a game I'm very interested in, uh, you know, unless it's like an online game, the plot don't matter, none of that, you know. So, but Hotline Miami, but the minute I looked at it, I thought, this looks like mouse and keyboard. Not, not much as a keyboard mouse, the mouse part. And yeah, uh, so I got the uh, PS4, brand new PS4 collection, Hotline Miami collection. Comes with both games. Uh, the second one, Wrong Call, I think it's called wrong call I think it's called <laughs> it reminds me of Austin Power allow myself to introduce myself <laughs> the silly joke in that movie <laughs> Austin Danger Powers there's a lot a lot of uh, play with words there did you wear you had oh you you, you were right of the uh, jealous of the uh, of the Italian babe yeah I shagged her Austin, <laughs> and it's like, what does it say? Yeah, yeah, she's a. Uh, I shagged her. Did you use protection? Uh, yes, I had my nine millimeter. No, I mean condoms. It's like, oh no, un- only sailors use that. And then she goes, not in the nineties. And then he goes, oh, they should. <laughs> they stop in every port. There's a lot of misunderstanding. It's very good. Awesome movies. Whatever happened to Mike Mike Myers? Do you ever think Mike Myers think of Michael Myers? You know, the Halloween guy? Because their names are similar. Do you think he goes by Mike because of Michael Myers? 
Or is actually Mike, just all along. Yeah, I don't hear from him much. All I can think of, despite Love and the Awesome Powers, is him with Kanye West and that infamous mom and... <clears throat> sorry. Infamous, infamous the Katrina thing. <laughs> this is just face. <laughs> Kanye West just drops that bomb statement. Which I want to repeat here. Don't want to get into it, but the... You know, about George Bush. And Mike, My Mike, <laughs> Mike Myers is just... <laughs> He's looking at Kanye West. He looks at the camera and he doesn't know what the fuck. What the fuck do I do now? This shit is live, you know. God damn it, that's a, that's funny. You want to see something funny? Go watch a clip. Another fella I like, uh, Mike Tyson, is fucking awesome. And go watch a clip of him in Canada, right? There's an <laughs> there's an interview in Canada, you know. And the guy that interviews him is kind of a, an asshole. Because he mentions, I think, the rape allegation. So he's hanging out with Jared Ford, which is another character. <laughs> I'm, I'm all over the place here, but I want you to watch some funny stuff that I think is funny. You might find, find, find it too. Pass it forward, the laughter, you know. Jared Ford, uh, I think the mayor of Toronto, hitting the camera. He's walking around. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's a camera. But anyways, Mike Tyson's hanging out with Jared Ford. And he, he's having a good time. Mike Tyson was having a good time. And what's funny is the guy next to him is aging. And this guy says, you know, a lot of people say that it's uh, bad for his, it's, it's election time. And it's bad for Jared Ford to, is it Jared Ford? Now I'm thinking Jared Ford was the fucking president. Don't mind my dumb assness. Because I'm fucking as dumb as they get. Now, Robert Ford? I think it's Robert Ford. I know it's Ford. I can't remember his first name. I've seen Jared Ford here. That's their fucking president. What the fuck am I on about? What kind of fucking opium and I copium? <laughs> I like that expression. Oh, yeah, the copium is strong on this one. Anyways, just regard to Jared thing. It's Ford. Just look up Ford. I, I, I can't remember for sure his first name. I think it's Robert. He, he's dead. He passed away, sadly. But uh, Mike Tyson goes on to this interview and the guy saying that because he's hanging and basically the guy saying if you're hanging out with him and that's going to hurt his election even though the guy probably didn't even like Ford and Mike Tyson like he was having a good time there and then Mike Tyson he starts you can see after the guy says that he starts to breathe heavily he's, he's upset you done upset Mike Tyson so here it comes right so he's uh <laughs> he tell you no. Mike Tyson just turns around and he, he he's, he's like I'm thinking I'm I'm alive too. Should I say something? You know what? I'm not taking this shit. I'm Mike fucking Tyson. So he goes, you know, you, it's funny. You really, <laughs> the guy continues. He goes like, it's funny. You seem like a nice guy and all, but you really are just a piece of shit. It's like, Come on, Mike. No, no, that, that was a piece of shit, man. <laughs> and his fucking and the the guy Mike Tyson's agent. Right? And Mike Tyson goes off on this guy. And the agent's face, he looks like an Italian guy, right? So he's sitting there. He is just having a time of his life just watching it. Mike Tyson tear this guy to pieces. And at the very end, it's very funny. Oh, well, this is live TV, Mike. You can't say that. And I, oh, thanks for coming, Mike. Well, fuck you. <laughs> I said, watch that shit. Mike Tyson interview. I don't know what you look for. I don't have I, ha I don't have the internet on here right now, but it's very funny. All right. Uh, I hope you don't mind. This is what it's all about. Is uh, I'm playing the games and I want to hang out. I want to talk here. Just like that's what I always say about this the stream. You know, if I was streaming, but hey, I I take the videos that I make here as if it were a stream, except I'm a lunatic and there's nobody here and I'm in the shed. Uh, talking to, but you know, I'm talking to you, my viewer. Are you watching this video? You know, consider me talking to you right now. You know, I wish I could. And by the way, comment, comment away. Only positive thoughts, though. No, I'm kidding. You can comment whatever you want, man. I'm not like that. Uh, you know, try to be reasonable. You know, I, I don't like comments on nonsense. Like, I don't mind negative comments, but comments on nonsense, like. Nonsense like, oh, you, you talking too long, but dude, I put the timestamps, you have the fact, I don't know what else you do, you know, and I'm not, I don't want to change my whole content. I want to do the content that I want to do, and that includes just sitting here and talking. If I take too long, 
I make a timestamp like talk, you know, and then you can avoid it if you want. That's something, you know, it's better than nothing. It's free, motherfucker. What do you want? You know, it's fucking free. I, I ain't making no fucking money out of this shit. I'm having fun, you know, so and that includes me talking here. All right, back to the game, though. That's enough. That's enough talk. Fucking Mike Tyson. Fucking awesome. Fucking interview. You know, I never beat that uh, Mike Tyson sponge out. It's a hard game. There's a blind guy that plays it. Fucking cool. No, it's blind guy. No, I think it blindfolded. I think that's what it, I was very impressed with that. The thing that impre impressed me the most, I'll tell you straight up, of any, uh, you know, sort of gamer accomplishments. <sighs> Sorry, Barbie. Uh, the, uh, the guy that beat all Dark Souls. And I haven't even played the game, but I'm deeply aware that it's very difficult. Right? Sort of a modern day Ghosts and Goblins. All six games back to back, back to back, uh, without taking a hit. Imagine that shit. If you can do that, I think the guy broke down and cried when he accomplished it. And, 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 and to add insult to injury, before he accomplished that, there was one time that he was on the last boss, I think of the sixth game, and he got hit. The, the, the run was ruined. You know, I I like speed run, but I tell you what, I, I like those other challenges too. Like that, you get you get to see the whole game. Like to play, you know, the first one. I think the guy when the, when they started doing that, that crazy, the guy that did the first one, one of the developers said it was impossible. That's one. That's the first one, which was already ludicrous. You know, to to go through that game without being hit. I think it was Carl Jobs. If I it's very good video, man. It's very impressive. I've never been so impressed by, by something, a video game accomplishment. You know, uh, really excellent, really excellent. And, and, and six games, man, back to back. That's insane. All right, and here I am dying here and there on Donkey Kong. I, I tell you though, I don't envy the guy though. I think he spent a whole year playing the fucking game. To, to get to that, yeah, you, you know, you don't come out of your mother's twat playing Dark Souls and knowing everything. You got to fucking practice. Turns out, it takes talent. Yeah, it does. But as with everything else, talent alone cannot hold you. You, you got to practice, man. You got to, you got to ded dedicate yourself to it. And kudos to that guy. You know, fucking impressive. Very impressive. I want to watch that documentary again. It's crazy. All right, let's go. Yeah, I couldn't be a speedrunner. It's crazy. It's you have to have a lot of. Uh, my neck feels better. I'm just kind of making an excuse here, talking and rest my neck. To be honest, is really painful. There we go. I love the snow. I love snow in real life. Is there some, I think there's something here. See, there we go. When they put a bird or something out of place, beware. Oh, this one I gotta pay attention. Here. Now, I tend to be good at this sort of game. What I do is I don't focus on the thing. I just focus. I, I make my eyes go out of focus and just look at the whole screen somehow. It's hard to explain. And I tend to, I tend to do well. Get that life. On also, what is a Mortal Kombat Deception has that, or is it Deadly Alliance? One of them. Test. I think Mortal Kombat 9 has it too. To test your sight. Ah, oh, fuck. Listen to this music. I love it. Fuck off. I have a problem with that. You get hit, and the other guy, he doesn't have the momentum to... Uh, let's do that game again. To, to go up. So you, if you hit that B there, essentially, what I'm trying to say, you're dead. You're done. All right, let's try this again. Let's prove my... I bet because I bragged about it, kind of. Uh-huh, there we go. No, nope. still got it. And now it's time to collect my bounty. Collect my booty. There we go. Yeah, he kind of... He sorts of jumps over the coins. I, I don't know the frog. I don't know much about it, you know, if I like him. I don't think this one you collect as much. The frog is kind of clumsy, to be honest. You know, the whole point is you don't want to 
stop here and coins been collected. I I'll call them coins even though they're, they're not coins, you know. When it was the last time we had a frog. A coin shaped in a solid, it looked like a 3D object, so. Imagine a coin that is shaped like, yeah, like this. See? I don't think I'll get you 400, look. That's a lot of time wasted here, not collecting things. Yeah, I don't know about the frog sometimes. Come on, man. Come on, get you. Yeah, I don't get 300 and... Oh, I can't fucking see it. It's behind a foreground. Alright. Yeah, this B... Where's the B part? Can you B leave it? Oh. Not today, sir. Die, comrade. Alright, this one is a bit... Ah, there we go. It's a bit nothing. Let's fucking up, that's all. I love this music. I listen I listen to Donkey Kong music every day of every waking hour. That's all I do. I wake up, I drink my coffee, and I listen to Donkey Kong music for about five hours, or usually until somebody stops me. I'm kidding, but I do listen to it off, uh, off the game because it's fucking awesome. Oh, let's, uh, let's do a little. You fuck! Damn it! That was fun here, man, for the whole. And look at this. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that's the time to scratch your fucking nose. Listen. part. I love it. Isn't it? So good. I'm trying to listen to music that asshole keeps snapping his jaws, ruining everything. Oh shit, no. Oh, what the f Whoa. What was that? You know, sometimes you you shoot somewhere unintended in this game and you end up loot, uh, landing somewhere interesting. To say the least. And by the way, I haven't come up, but look at the snow. How awesome that is, huh? Now, this is risky here. You have to be very good. Let's risk it. I like to live dangerously. Boom. Paid off. No. Come on, bitch. Oh, my God. Now I gone. There we go. Oh, come on, get out of my fucking way. Gotta concentrate here, bud. Holy shit. <gasps> no! I gotta concentrate here. Now, dude. All the shit, the fucking thing is just like. Fuck off! There we go. Huh. Oh, man. Yeah, please don't die now. I don't want to. Oh my god. Huh. Huh. Alright. End it. Anything here? No. Yeah, I had to concentrate that. Those barrows can be quite tricky. Sleep side ride. Beautiful. Come. So use this guy here. Climb on up. So those things, they, uh, it's automatic. So they just pull you up and they'll play with this kind, this, uh, this mechanic here. Ooh. 
Ah, you fucking... Trying to be a hero here doing it quickly, huh? Idiot. <sighs> Can I... No, that's it. Alright. Well, I done goofed. At least I got those bananas back. Come. Hope you're liking the video. Set up everything to your to your liking, my dear viewer. Each and knows what else. Mm. Music is great. If you hold down, you can sometimes revert, but some of them will be very strong. Like, okay, there's a thing here. What the? F I. I you know, Diddy Kong is the one you want to be throwing barrels because he's way better than Donkey Kong in that regard. There we go, there we go. And there's a thing here, right? Nope. The fuck are you doing? Yeah, the music is so great. This game is great. I'm glad I'm playing it here on the channel. Camera having a little trouble following me on a 2D game. Don't understand that bit. So there, you don't want to fuck around. Just do it quickly. There's a thing here for sure. There we go. No, come off! I maybe maybe I can use this guy. No fucking way. It's over. There's no way you can go there. So miss the bonus, bonus final, finally. The fuck, dude! Quick, quick, you idiot! Ah! Okay, calm down. Definitely a thing here. Okay, so what's up there? I'm I'm a curious man. There we go. I just have to find out things. Okay, which way? You can climb up this way. Ah, you f Damn it! Shit. What the hell's on that side? I don't want to know. I'm not that curious. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing, fella? Yeah, just don't fuck around here too much. Never mind what's down there. Nothing good, let me tell you. Whoa, whoa! The fuck was that shit? Ah! Come on, dude! You motherfucker. Uh, fucking around here, come on. What the fuck was that? You do all this fucking crazy shit and then die like an idiot. Oh, at least I have another shot of this. Hey, asshole. Fucking deceiver. There we go, and that was kind of important. You motherfucking accuser. Another uh, funny video, look up Accuser of the Fucking Brethren. As the lady that won't. <laughs> I'd rather do life with that, but well. It's very fun. As a lady, she's uh, overly religious, but she she cusses a lot and uh, just goes off on people. I think it's drugs. I'm not sure. There's a few videos of her. Once she once she uh, okay, gotta gotta fucking yeah. Once she oh whoa 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 what the fuck? What are you doing? Okay, this one is easy, just do that. Oh, miss a letter. Camera having a little trouble there. You okay? Not sure what this is all about. Let's go, let's just go. So that was Sleep Side Ride, and now we're coming to Ice Age Alley. I love this track. And here will be the opposite. The, the weather will clear up soon. There you go. I love this effect. This game fucking rules it. Look at the effects. Just, you have no idea how... Well, you know, if you lived it. But how mind-blowing this was back in the 90s. <clears throat> the graphics. 
Oh. A noisy ass chair. So will this guy just want to sort of hover? Do your best to you get as many as you can without worrying about repeating. Then if you get to the end and you need to repeat, then you do it. I don't know. I, I, I don't think I can get nowhere near 400 with this feller. So I tend to go in a zigzag fashion here and then just try to do the, the opposite zigzag. There we go. Yeah, we got 400. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. There you go. Plenty of lives, boys. Plenty of lives. Can't just sneak in a vape here. So it's all about the timing of the ropes. Oh, die, die horribly. Diddy Kong is better with it in this stage, that's for sure, but damn it. But I'll go I'll give old DK a chance here. I go stop snowing in the, in the back foreground and in the background. Damn it! Fuck off! I hate those things. Pieces of shit. How beautiful it looks. It's just so mind blowing this game to me to this day. The music. The, oh, 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 oh. Awesome. <laughs> Not awesome. <laughs> I. It was too late by the time I realized the mess I was in. But let's try it again. But now I know where to jump. It is a lot of fun to. I don't know why to roll on those barrels. You know. Nope. Oh. Every time. You know, let's try this again. But jump on time. Bail at the right moment. The camera is a bit... Let's go. Keep up, you know? There we go. That's how it's supposed to be done. Wow, that's a lot missing. There we go. Troctopus Chase. Is that a water level? Sounds like it. Yes. Very nice. Such a beautiful game. What a masterpiece. This is a masterpiece right here. I don't care what anyone says about anything. As long as they agree with me. <laughs> okay, it is a masterpiece of this game for me. So this one is all about... Yeah, you can risk... Nah. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it, Liani! That was just luck. I want to come back... Where's the barrel? See, that's why I don't fuck with the barrels. I done told you. Yeah, this game... Kind of... Praise on your greed. So you just want to be quick here. It's sort of like the wheel thing. Oh man, is that all right? Yeah. It's sort of like the wheel thing, but with the uh, with the uh, the octopus here. Interesting animals in real life. If you read about octopuses, they're very they're very intelligent. Oh, oh. Kind of fucked up there a bit. I like this, like, look at that, the trail, the bubbles, just fucking awesome. They, they thought of every little detail in the cherry game. 
So beautiful. Gives me the chills for this day. The music of this game. Timeless. Fucking timeless. Such man, I, I just I know I, I know I just keep coming all over my pants about this here game, but it's true. I do have a hard on for this game. Where am I? You know I. Whoa 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 whoa! Is it coming in here? Yeah, he would. I wonder if there's something up there. Well, let's go. Some mysteries are best left unsolved. Ah! Gee, what am I doing here? Okay, this one is about, again, I kind of dropped down, you know. Just here, there we go. That's it. That was, that was the whole, oh, the whole enchilada. Just focusing a bit on this one. Oh, missed a nose somewhere. I bet it was that place. I bet it was that place that it could go down or something. The octopus gave, gave you plenty of time. There was there. I, I'm betting the O was in there. Such an awesome level. Circles are fun too. It's a fun game. I think we're approaching the exit here. Oh, there's a lot of those assholes here. Just keep cool. Maintain. There you go. That was it. That was Croctopus Chase. Y'all. See what old Crank has to say. Probably stating the obvious again. Fancy running to you, you two way out here. The crafted Croctopus corners his his Croco collectibles and Coral Capers. Hold the run button down and jump on the baddest. Fucking Captain Hindsight here. Captain Hindsight, the hero of the modern age. South Park. Torchlight Trouble. Oh, this one. Now, I used to annoy my cousins. I remember this level. Doing this, and you'll be annoyed. Wait. Get out. This. Well, it's a lot... I, I, I looked at the monitor here. It's not, it's not as effective. It's annoying if you actually look directly into it full screen. So you definitely want is one of those stages you want Donkey Kong, not Diddy Kong here, because man, this will be a nightmare with Diddy Kong because he cannot take down those fellers here. Oh shit! There we go. I don't know what the fuck I'm in a hurry about. Ooh, I thought I was gonna die there. I wanna. I think there's something here. No, oh, there is. There we go. So the objective here is to get the life, so just tap tap. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Nah, you idiot! Damn it, Diddy Kong. What the hell did you do? Show your phone, you little bastard. See this? Yeah, you definitely don't want. Come on, give me, give me the big, big kahuna here. Yeah, Diddy Kong, not very, that jump, man. It's not very good here on the stage, whenever there's big fellers. Did I get the other ladders? Yeah, I did. Definitely. What the fuck are you doing? It was here, Donkey Kong, it was here! <sighs> Whatever, no, I'm, not, I'm not here to complete the game today. After the boss, I don't know how far off he is. Let me have, let me have to give me some sugar. There we go. Well, if I do as well as the last one, about an hour away. Rope Bridge Rumble. Oh yeah, this stage is cool. Look at this. Reminds me of uh, Star Wars with the, what is it called? It's not the Wookiees, it's the little bear things. I'm not a massive Star Wars fan, but I do like the the movies, you know. 
I see something. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled. You've come across stuff here. I don't know why I must get every fucking banana. Like, if I see a banana... Oh, it's him. I'm <coughs> sorry. See a banana uncollected? It disturbs me greatly. It displeases me greatly. Are you kidding? The fuck was that? Come on, dude. What are you doing? That's what I'm talking about with the frog. It has a weird hitbox. Can, can you hit those bays with this feller? I wonder. You can. What the hell am I afraid of? I wasn't sure because I hit that one B one time and all hell broke loose. Now this one here, you need Diddy Kong. Stay quiet. Settle down. There we go. I like that part of the music. I tend to focus on the background music for some reason. The background notes. I know, I... Uh, me and my greedy ways. Approaching the end here, I think. I know I can jump on top of the base. Damn, they did a lot of this stuff. There we go. And we got get that extra knife life we so desperately need. Oh. Right, let's, oh, what the fuck? I didn't mean to touch it. That's how I feel. Bullshit. I didn't mean to touch it. It was an accident. Oh god, there's a moth here. Get out. Get 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 away. Fucking moths are annoying. It's the way they fly is so fucking annoying. Just, what the hell do you want? Okay, we got another boss here coming up. I can't remember what it was. Oh, really naughty rampage. So it's just a naughty, you know, uh, different color. And I think he jumps. Yeah, he, he has more fucked up jumps. Oh, whoa! What the fuck? No, I'm not gonna die with this fucking asshole. No fucking way, dude. What the fuck you put... Oh, whoa! There we go. Drink some coke here. Good stuff. Cram Croc Industries. Oh, some awesome music, some awesome la awesome levels coming up. I'm gonna sit back a tiny bit here. Don't worry, I'm not gonna have as big as a break as I had last time. Just wanna drink some Coke here. Yeah, I remember I played a, a hack. I think it's called Jumpman Returns. It's sort of like Super Mario World with Super Mario Bros. I think one sprites. No, sorry, the Donkey Kong. Not Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong, the original one. You know, it's on like Donkey Kong. Throwing the barrels and shit. Awesome game, definitely play it here too. I want to play the Atari Homebrew version. And so it's just, you, you keep climbing higher and higher. You know, the original Donkey Kong, but this hack I'm talking about. Uh, Jumpman Returns. And uh, they use the music from Cram Croc Industries here from Donkey Kong Country 1. I recognize it because it's such an awesome track. That's why I'm mentioning it. And you can see the little details they add to the, the, the overworld. See the jungle down there and then you can see the caves and you can see the forest and then up there on the peaks there's the snow uh, and then you can see the two stacks right there, implying as an industry. And there's K. Ru, uh, crew, uh, ship. And the music too at the last boss is so cool. It's very good. This game is just 
Such a joy to play. I mean, if you don't like this game, I, I, I don't even know you, man. It's, you know, that's fucking awesome. The only person I ever seen complaining about this game, and I love the guy, you know, is uh, Joe from GameSec. He's not a big fan of pre-rendered graphics. And I know what he means. Uh, there was a time that it was overdone, but on Donkey Kong Country, it just fucking works, man. Everybody loves it. I mean, he has his right, and I like it. You know, I... I, I opinions right he has to mention a lot there was one time he, he criticized what the Evercade and the community you know I was interested in the Evercade the community was so toxic to him and said he was demented he had mental problems made fun of his appearance I don't know went nuts because he uh, <clears throat> he criticized aspects of the Evercade that were totally valid like things that were wrong with it you know, sometimes I look at a product when the fandom is disgusting. I, I tend to, I'm not saying you're disgusting because I have an advocate, but the, those people that day, at the time, and the impression that I got was that the fandom was was pretty fucked up in, in the head, you know. Uh, it's fucked, you know, because the product is good. I, I find the Evercade very interesting. But I got really put off by the behavior of those people towards Joe. And I'm not like that. Oh, I like Joe. Everybody has to treat Joe. It's just the way they went on about it was pretty toxic. Like, for example, I like Silent Hill, but sometimes the members of the community, uh, as they like to say that word, like community. Everything's a fucking community nowadays. Community this, community that. Remember a community, when community, you should have some sort of meaning. Like the place where you live, do community. And I was just fucking little... Echo Chambers online. That's community now. I mean, it's interesting you know, to have a community. I do understand the concept. And you say, I'll, I'll be part of the retro gaming community, but am I? I mean, I'm just playing old games here. I'm not sure if I, I consider myself to be a member of any community. You know, I, I, I don't, me and communities don't go well together, to be honest. What am I talking about here? Anyways. Let's cut the crap and go back to the game. Fucking community. Let's go back to the community. Now, there'll be some difficulty here, but I, I don't know. I'm so familiar with this game, I, I don't find it hard. Like, Ghosts and Goblins, our Ninja Gaiden is hard. Uh, this one, it can be, but it's just pleasurable. And I don't know why I like the, uh, the environment here. I think it looks cool. Look at it. It's industry. Progress, baby. Get out of the fucking way. We're make shit. We'll make shit and you buy shit. And that's how, how it goes. Look at... Listen. Shut up, man. Damn it. I want to hear the thing. Oh, you hear the music anyways. I play. Yep. There we go. Our first... Is there a problem? Ah, okay. Hmm. Oh, there. And then it dropped now. And there you have it. I always aim... Oh, man. No, 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 no. Yeah, we got it. There we go. Don't matter now. Yeah, this, uh, tr this is one of the best, right? It reminds me of Fulgore. Now you gotta be careful. I, I, I've died before holding, using the barrel, your friend barrel, or your friend strap to. Uh... Speaking of which, what, what is this friend stuff? I always assume for some reason, definitely something here. There we go. That Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong were more than friends, but they're related. All right, let's not fuck up this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. This is easy. I don't know. I fucked up last time. <clears throat> this monitor looks amazing. Everything's amazing. Why is everything so fucking amazing, dude? Damn, I thought it was gonna roll. Boom. Definitely gonna be a scent in here. Let's bring this over. Come on over. 
Oh yeah. I think you gotta. And as a game that, damn it, you, you don't wanna. Like this, you wanna really push it hard. What's the problem here? Like a trust? There we go. Well, that's. Am I carrying this for nothing? Bound to be something here somewhere, right? You can use that barrel, but now since I brought this shit, this shit here, might as well use it. Okay, is so it just a friend barrel? Yeah, you can't. Uh, so the idea here is this barrel, you, you time it, and then you jump here. Oh, this jerk off. Oh man, no, that barrel is gone. The friend barrel. Oh shit. I, I need you to find. There. there we go. Do I. Is this something? You be the guinea pig. Damn it! I thought it would be a, a thing there. Quick. And then after the long one, you can go. There we go. Throw that immediately, don't fuck around with that. I think I believe there's shoe of it now, so you gotta be quick. Although you could do the roll, the double jump thing there, and you'll be fine. Fucker. It's the music so good. <laughs> ah, damn it. There you go. It's the first stage of the industries, all drum alley. Trick it track track. Trick it track track. Oh, this this stage is awesome. Very cool, very cool. Another excellent track. Track de musique. <laughs> no, no. There we go. Yeah, it's very cool. Very cool stage. The idea is, oh, look at that, the music, man. Ah, oh, goosebumps all around. Goosebumps all around. It's my childhood right here, man. It's my childhood right here, my friend. Time you never get back. There we go. Yeah, this state, it just feels so good. To, to, you want to play the whole game holding Y. That's what I do if, if you haven't noticed already. Definitely. Look at the music's coming. Doom, 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 doom. Oh. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, man, fuck. The goosebumps. It's just so good, the music. Fuck. Fucking hell, I love this game. I love Donkey Kong so much. It was a cartoon back in the day, like early 3D. It was pretty weird. It always bothered me that Donkey Kong, you know, has that tuft of hair on top of his head. But one time, uh, he had his head shaved. Ah, oh, fucked up there. And, uh, oh, oh. Ooh. Yeah, and they, the, they made it so that it wasn't a tuft of hair, it's the actual shape of, of his head. So you want to... I think this is getting kind of trickier with Diddy Kong because of the big guys. Whoa, what the fuck was that? 
I wonder if there was something up there, definitely. It looks like the kind of place that is holding secrets. Oh, man. I can't... I can't... I couldn't swap around. I'm trying to press select here to have Donkey Kong, and it just couldn't be done. Holy shit, that was close. The fuck are you doing? Bet there's something down there, but you know what? Let's move on forward. So that was trick, trick, it, tra trick track, track. Elevator Annex. I'm going to play Elevator Action someday. That game is cool. Oh, is that a ha-ha moment? I fucked up. Yep, definitely something on that rope. Ooh. How am I supposed to get up there? Tell me. How am I supposed to get up there? I think you have to kind of know and then do the double jump thing like that. That's, oh. I don't know why I feel like jumping when I see the coconuts and sometimes it fucks me up. Whoa, 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 feller. I'm having a banana. There we go. It's always a great feeling when you get a... Get a friend, you know. An extra hit. Oh, 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 oh nice try, nice try. Commendable. Fuck you, I hate that shit. Stupid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a banana here? No, I don't think so. So, sort of jump when they're up. Where? Where, dude? You fuck. There we go. Quick, quick. Smart ass. Eat your nose. The sounds are so great. Super Nintendo rules. It's a really beloved console. I'm glad I grew up with it. I used to die here a lot as a kid for some reason. Get confused. Damn it, you bastard. Look at those crazy sounds. Wonder if I need to carry this somewhere. I think it's just to help you with those assholes here. Nice of them to give me some indication. Oh, you fuck. Damn it, I broke the barrel. Listen to that track. Ah, fucking itchy nose. Ah, come on. That was bullshit. Oof. Oh, ninja skills, bitch. Okay, this is one that you can fuck up if you don't think quick. I love the reverb sound. With a cave like. Ah, oh, this asshole. Whoa! Digit. Definitely something down there. I'm moving on. Time to have a little save here. Get some sugar from candy. Oh, yeah. Poison pond. pond. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. Very nice. They did very good here with the collars, you know. 
but there's there's stuff sorry there's stuff here definitely oh that's it so what the fucking knows man play game that the, the, play games here the nose start each and non-stop like what the fuck god it was hot today it was horrible fucking disgraceful Oh, you motherfucker. Look at this asshole. Where you going, bitch? Just straightforward. Get get off the screen. Get off my fucking game. Oh, so it's all about those tires here. <sighs> Greedy piece of shit. Me. Okay, uh, got up on the wrong foot here. Let's let's let's, let's amp up the game. Too many fuck ups. I always forget that shark that, that comes forward. I don't play this game very often, but I played recently. It was like like a month ago, I think. I was just sitting down and sit, and I just had the the urge, which is not something I do usually. My game sessions are planned. Uh, I sort of like this Shen, I, I, okay, let's, and get out. That was the problem last time. Yeah, my game sessions are usually planned. I, 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 I decide well, and they're not as spontaneous, very rarely. I decide, I have a list of games that I want to play, like a sort of a, a backlog, and then, um, uh, I just adjust myself here. My neck is fucking killing me, dude. It's a matter of honor now. There we go. There you go. I win. Flawless victory. So like I was saying, yeah, I have this list of games that I want to play whenever I see something interesting. I usually save the covers of the games to, uh, oh, to a folder in the computer, so I'll just check it later. Keep adding, uh, organized by systems, so I have a CDI folder, a Target 5200 folder, and so forth. Oh, you f damn it. just move on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The problem is in the water. Oh, did I get a checkpoint? Or is that all the way to the beginning? That's kind of brutal. Okay. All right, I, I guess I gotta move the microphone here a bit. Sorry. I pay a little bit more attention here because uh, I don't want unpleasantries here. Like I was saying, uh, let me get this here real quick. I got this. Go, go. Just get the fuck out of here. Let him go. So yeah, and then I get to uh, I plan what I want to play. I usually give my full attention to whatever game I'm playing. Goddamn, I'm fighting back a fucking sneeze here. There's a something I hate sneezing. I have a lot of oh. <laughs> Sorry. Fuck off. I hate it. Leave me alone. Sometimes I have allergies. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's like there's a little witch with a, like a miniature witch with a little stick poking my nose on the inside. I'm dead. Fucking hell. Was it worth it getting that fucking banana, you fucking idiot? I don't think I'll be getting that banana no more. I had enough. If it was a life, I'll be like, you know. So that was kind of fucking stupid. Alright, hey, 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 stop fucking around here. The neck is killing me. Damn it. There's something there. Alright, let's pay attention this time. Let's focus. Fuck that banana. I'm not doing that shit no more. It's not, the risk is not worth the reward here, too. It takes you damn long. Let's move on. If it, like I said, if it was alive or something, I would be glad to uh, go down and retrieve it. 
like this, and it's not. A Kong for a, 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 a cash of an, oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. He has the momentum here, so. Sometimes you realize you fucked up, but it's too late. The water carries you forward, and you're, you're fucked. Like here, if you're going too fast, you gotta, be, on the water levels, you gotta be a tiny bit more patient. Because being in a hurry can fuck you up. I gotta watch out here for with this sniffing too. There was one of the videos, I, I can't remember which one, recent, that I, I, I was sniffing the whole fucking playthrough. It's fucking annoying, actually. My nose is very problematic. You know, it, it gives me a lot of trouble. I hate, I, I, there's something terrible about about dying in the same spot because you feel like an idiot, like you did you didn't learn anything. Did I get a checkpoint this time or not really? Okay, this is fucked up. This is gone long enough. I'll, I'm gonna be very concentrated here. Let me go ahead and take care of this nose because it's fucking killing me here. Very distracting. Not saying this what caused me to die. What caused me to die was being a dumb, dumb fuck. I never make excuses for dying. I die because I, I fucked up, I done goofed. What do you want from me? Holy fucking moire here. Let me check the screen here, the monitor real quick, because it looks fucking horrific, the moire. Tiny bit. Let me adjust it on the fly here a tiny bit. So you gotta be, you gotta go a tiny bit out of focus to reduce the moire. This, it's shit. You know what I want is the fucking G S five. Fuck me, I forgot the name. G G H five S. I don't have to deal with fucking moire anymore. It's the bane of my fucking existence. You record CRT is the moire. What a fucking annoying phenomenon that is. Yeah, I think I've been up there already. Okay, let, let, let's focus here and quit the, quit the bullshit. Uh, I need to get it a checkpoint, then I'll, I'll feel better. Once I do. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to have a stage that I die too much. This is embarrassing. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I played this game a lot when I was a kid, and I, I shouldn't be uh, fucking around here on, on any level. There's, there's no excuse whatsoever. So focus, pay attention, and get it done. And don't rush forward. You just, you know, follow your own fucking advice that you just gave about going too fast. There's one here, and I, I repeat to, to yourself, you will not die on the same motherfucking guy. I think it's after this, I go like very quickly, and then this asshole here gets me. Fuck you this time, bitch. Oh, it was this one, but fuck you too. Fuck all y'all. There we go. None of them caught me this time, so that's good. I'm now a uh, official. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> Look at the checkpoint was right here, man. It's just a matter of focusing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And getting it done by the book. Okay, there's a big empty space here, so definitely. Sun whoa, whoa! The fuck is this garbage, man? There you go. This is excellent news. It's an extra hit, and he's awesome. His hit. His oh shit! I done goofed. Uh, there we go. Yeah, just swimming is a lot easier with him. Now be careful here, going crazy. There we go, now now we're golden. This level is toast. No fucking way that I manage to fuck up and, and lose here with this amount of backup. Oh, I knew it. The, the minute you see is, a lot of this game, <clears throat> what was that voice break? A lot of, a lot of this game is uh, intuition. Like you see that hole, you know something's coming. You think quick react accordingly and that's it you don't have to memorize this game he does that automatically by the way oh shit what the fuck now you fuck 
Hey, you and your big mouth, motherfucker. There we go. Nah, 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 we're back, we're back on track. Oh. A little bit of slow down there. Leave that alone. Fucking goddamn it. No, no, give me my crater back. Come on, it's going up. Oh my god, no. No! I lost him. There. Give it back to me, you son of a bitch. Okay, wait for this thing to come. So obviously here, you're gonna go up. Now oh, shit. Fucking. Go, 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 go. Give him. No, 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 no. I wanna finish with him. Come, come back here. Come back here, you son of a bitch. All right. You and your big mouth. What, what was that that you're saying about this level of toast? Something about you being a dumb son bitch. Was that it? Arrogance will lead you nowhere, my good sir. All right, we gotta. This is the place. Now we know that things are here. Oh man, this is a. Go 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 go. There we go. This level stools. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I always jinx it. Saying that kind of shit. The level's toast, and then no, you're toast. The leads are weak. The leads are. Listen to this guy. The leads are weak. You're weak. Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Speaking of references, I almost forget because every video is. Uh, 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 I, I forget to uh, uh, thank him. Uh, thanks, Le Shizzle, for uh, subscribing to the channel. So, thank you, Le Shizzle. I appreciate it. Got some nice comments on the Pitfall video. I appreciate you guys. It was great. It was, it really motivated me, what y'all had to say there. Thank you so... Oh, shit, you fuck. Don't start with this crap here again. I'm not going back there for a banana, you crazy. Yeah, I really appreciate it. It motivated me a lot, and here I am playing tonight. Fucking hell! Plan tonight. Can you settle your ass down? Oh, stop. Stop with the nonsense and, and do it now. Yeah, I appreciate the comments. Yeah, now we know it's here. That's all you had to do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm, definitely something here. Nothing. Damn it! Me and my big fucking curiosity. You know what? Good luck. Holy shit, are you in a hurry, bud? Man, that's, uh, well, I had to let go, child. I had to let go. You had a real quick fish, what the fuck? Asshole. Go, 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 go. Use the invincibility frames. There it is. Well, died a few times there, a bit embarrassing. I think I might lose my bragging rights to the, you know, the playground next recess. They will know it. I died quite a few times on <coughs> Poison Pond. Ah, oh, my neck is fucking destroying me. Holy shit, dude. Thanks for the five subs. I wonder if Lishizo is good at Poison Pond. Are you? How bad he is. Let's go back and focus here a tiny bit. I see the more of it. Let me check here the camera a little bit. Just hold it. Don't. Oh, I can't. Fine. All right, let, let's not wait too much here. I'll be concerned with the more array on the screen, so I'm going to be checking the. Oh, it's a minecart level. It looks fine. All right, let's go. This has got to be is going to be harder than the last one, obviously. I love those levels, though. They're a lot of fun because they're like a. Uh, there we go. Look at that shit, huh? Fucking sorry, I hit the microphone. Itching here. I'm constantly itching with the fucking games. What the fuck? Annoying. Look, I missed a secret in there. 
But this one is just discarding the uh, cards. You, you know what it hurts jumping over that shit? The container. I've done that before, I remember now. There we go. Yeah. Hitting the microphone again. I hope it doesn't come too loudly on the. Oh. There we go. We got the Kong. Get off my card, bitch. It's a lot of fun. Ah, what the fuck? Oh! oh shit. There we go. Missed a lot of bonuses, though. Minecart Madness. And now we're up to Black Cow Basement. Now that's a good level. I know because I, I know because of the Black Cow, so you'll see. Not sure. I was, I was supposed to get a label for that EverDrive. Not sure if I kind of love the way, the clean look of it. It's not an EverDrive, right? It's a FX Back Pro. Heard it, they had to change the name because of the SD company that owns, somebody owns the name SD. Copyright is weird. It's always some shenanigans, There's always some bickering. Now let's move on. That was the awesome track again. Yeah, this one is a, it's kind of about, it plays on a short term memory. You gotta kind of like that, see? I kind of had a glimpse of that guy and then memorized where where everything you just saw is. Yeah, it's very interesting. The levels are very interesting in this game. Okay, here. I thought I failed there. I thought I was about to die or something. There was a sound here. Fucking annoying. I get a bit spooked in the shed here, I won't lie to you. Especially what time? I bet it's 3 o'clock, huh? Well, I'm on uh, full screen on my second monitor. I gotta check that. I hate being on full screen my second monitor. It seems like a no-brainer. You want to see what your uh, recording looks like. But there's been times that I've been on full screen and then some bullshit happened. And it wasn't recording my whole playthrough. And I had to play the game again, which really pisses me off. No matter how much the... How great the game is. Eh, the fish kind of sucks. Now that I look, look into it here. I'm, I'm struggling to get a 300 here. Does he have the attack? No. On the second one, uh, I think the, sec the sequel he has a charge attack. If you hold A. Yeah, the fish is not... Doesn't collect a lot. You, you didn't do well, my friend. Yeah, I'll get off full screen immediately, yeah. I need to see that OBS is recording. If I can't see, physically see... I would, oh yeah, that's kind of weird. Sends you all the way back. Like, the fuck? Like, punishing you for getting that, that thing. How dare you? I wonder if you respawn that thing. The coin, no. When in doubt, jump like that. I didn't say those guys, but it's just, like I said, intuition in this game. Instinct. Killer instinct. Awesome. Oh. No, wait. This one is actually easier to die than you think, this this platform. I died here a few times, obviously not now, but... There we go. 
damn it. Cha ah, fool me. Got me. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't get fooled again. Alright, those are dangers, those little things here. The, the moving platform, you, you, you can get confused quite easily. Especially if you're an idiot like me. A complete schmuck. From hell. <laughs> I like, uh, what do you call, self-deprecating humor. Okay. There you go. We made it, boys. We made it. I think... Yeah, I, I don't know if there's a secret down there. I think it's just a matter of uh, getting that, that banana, that bunch of bananas there. So those platforms... This is definitely a secret. There you go. When is one banana is just... This is a bit risky. Oh no, I need, I need, damn it, I need, the, I need this thing that you're crazy. Okay, something is happening here. There's a narrow going back. This is getting my, my tingling curiosity here. I'm just, is the barrel renewable or is that it? I think that was it. Damn you! I fed on out then. It is what it is, what can I tell you? Is that a boss again? I think, is that the B again? I need to drink me some Coke here. Fucking the vaping. One thing I don't like about vaping, it makes your tongue dry, at least for me. I tried everything over the years. I think it's literally being scolded when you use those powerful ones. That's what it is. <clears throat> Cherry Coke once again, love that shit. Oh, this one, the boss dumb drum. Where did I see him? I saw the sprite of the drum being used somewhere. I think it was a game. A hack. I was like, oh, I recognize this. A boss from Donkey Kong Country, the first one. All right, him is just a matter of, he's, he does a little stop and then he'll throw a, a wide array of enemies here. Yet is is all about not being undecided here, not hesitating. There we go. Easily avoidable, and then I mean I say that I get ahead. <laughs> Who is it now? Oh. it. Chimp Caverns. Who doesn't love the Chimp Caverns? A fool, I tell you. Not a long break this time. Just get, I want to get a couple of uh, drags here and let's get a move on. I'm at 2 hours and 21 minutes because obviously talking here, you know, 
loving the setup, loving the simplicity of this, loving be able to, to be able to. You know what holds me back a bit? I'm just talking a little tiny bit about this. Is the internet? The horrible, disgusting internet here is so slow. Uh, I just uplo finished uploading the uh, Gargoyles Quest, which by now will be out, obviously, is before this video. But uh, it wasn't too bad. It was a couple of days, but still, you know, two or three days. It's, it's actually kind of ludicrous now. I think I think of it out loud. Now, say it out loud. Three days is fucking ludicrous for a video. The internet here is fucking unbearable. I could pump them out quicker if it wasn't for that. For example, this one, I already did a pixel art. <laughs> at the time of recording, obviously, if you're watching a video, there will be the pixel art intro. But at the, time, at the time of recording this, the pixel art and the outro, which I simply... There's no outro anymore. It's pretty much just thank you for watching. The intro, I, I want to keep the intro. I really like it. It's a lot of work. But sometimes I have some downtime time waiting on uploading, processing the fucking Adobe Premiere Pro, I do some pixel art in between, you know, I do it all myself, obviously, no shit, so, like, I, like I'm, I'm so successful here on YouTube that I have, I, I hired hands here to help me, you know, got a couple of boys here doing all my bidding for me, no shit, it's just me, of course, uh, I use a Sprite, if you're curious about that, um, the pixel art, I always love pixel art. I started with a backloggery. I like to make manners and stuff. Just a, you know, an excuse you to do some pixel art. Animated, animated pixel art I love. Pixel art in general, non-animated too. I say doing pixel art. I do some of the stuff, for like the consoles, the TVs obviously, but a lot of the stuff is assets from, I like to use assets from the game. So in this case here, it's called Donkey Kong Country 4. It's a bootleg by Hummer. That's the, the pixel art where I got it from. Because doing with the extra sprites and ripped content from this here game will be difficult because it's, uh, I don't have a silicon graphics computer here to do three models and I make sprites out of it for the CRT Rax, uh, Rax mascot. So it's all like pure, simple pixel art. Here's as simple as it gets. All right, let's get going. Let's get going. I'm eager to play more. This game is a lot of fun, and I'm enjoying myself. Tanked up trouble. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, one. Oh, this one. This one is also cool. <laughs> Avoided the barrel. Not that it matters. Once you look at this, it's feel, but it's very good. And if you fuck up, you know you're gonna die. It's like an airplane crash, you know. I'm scared of airplanes, by the way. I haven't been on an airplane in a long time now. I can avoid it. So you gotta get basically, you, you, you're not dumb, you got the gist of it. You gotta get the fuel here. That's what, what this is all about. But it's, it's easy to fuck up. And if you do, you know you're gonna die. Okay. Nah, you fucker. All right, you kind of fucked up there. It's a great level. So I gotta kind of time it. Very interesting. What the fuck is this? Nonsense, I tell you. Don't know what that, that was all about. Once again, the music is fantastic. Yeah, it looked like I was gonna fuck up. Oh, shit! Almost. <laughs> Damn it, you f And the thing stops, so you gotta mind that now. Oh, this is enter. Look at this. You gotta bring this. Whoop, push it. If you don't, you are fucked. There we go. So cool, this level. Very Im imaginative. I got down here. There you go. So you get your thing. This is one of those moments that... Got this one. I got a time. This is just great. A great level all around. And I start to get tight here. Very cool concept. There we go. 
go. So far, so good. Oh, damn it, that one usually just crouch. What the fuck? What's the point of that? I wanted the ladder. Bitch. What do you want, fool? Ah, that was kind of dumb. I, I, I thought I was being clever by getting in the barrel and it's just a cop out. And I missed out on the G. Bullshit, Bizania. Manic mincers. They don't mince words, I hear. So it's like a cave with a green... Oh, yeah. So they, they combined the... Uh, I, I don't know. Tires? With the, from that water level with the caves. Oh, it's Rambi. I think I think his name is Rambi. I think he, he can touch those things. Let's see. No, you can't. You dumb fuck. God damn it. <laughs> you fucking, you can't touch it. That was, why would I think that he can't touch those things? That was the dumbest thing I ever said. Ever. Why would I assume that? That's so stupid. <laughs> Straight into the lion's mouth. You son of a bitch. Ah. Yeah, I didn't think that one through, did I? It's here. No. Here. There you go. See, that's a good thing about Diddy. Oh, this is uh, going to be difficult. i got to concentrate here. I don't know why. It's just a challenge. I mean, I, I technical don't don't need the yeah, fucked up. Don't need the, the lives anyways. It's a pageant. Ah! <laughs> okay, go pass him. No, that's... All that for now. Can they? No. Ah, oh, you fuck. Damn it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Think before you do things, eh? There we go. What the fuck were you thinking, idiot? Come on, the end of the level is right there. Fucking around here. <laughs> Bullshit. Run. Get into it. I've always hated it, like when there's a platform moving or something, you hit it and you lost your momentum. You fucked. You lost your moment momentum completely, and it's you know the thing is moving on. It's fucked. We got the thing, you piece of shit. What was here again? Oh, this shit. Okay. Uh, this is difficult. Three of them is. Got me. Okay, the thing is not... Don't jump too early there. Diddy Kong is better at this kind of level. Just go, don't linger. That's it. Was the end here? Oh yeah, I died here. Whoa. That's it. What was the? What was the comp? What's this? Is this a like a bonus? I swear to ladder. I bet I have a lot of them missing. No, no, I had him. Ah, there we go.
step on the something somewhere. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> now it's the paying attention thing. There you go. Awesome. <coughs> Exit. Misty mine. Let's go straight into it. It's like a... I don't know why... Oh shit, it was... Man, it was here. Reminds me of the... I don't know why, the morgue at, on Resident Evil. Resident Evil 2. Fuck, it was here. Okay. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, a lot of this game is just thinking quickly. And I get you fixed, you know? I'll carry this here for a little while longer. Ah, yeah, yeah. Bitch ass. Now, oh, come on, that's nonsense, and you know it. That was bullshit. I like that sound. There we go. Such a cool game, man. I don't have anything bad to say about Donkey Kong. Ah, oh, crap. Shoulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Okay, let's see if that leads somewhere. It's here, but there we go. See, if you have Diddy Kong, it automatically it does it for you. Ah, oh, fuck off! That was kind of dodgy. That was kind of sketchy a little bit. Kid sketchy, you know? Ever seen that video? What what kind of fi fireworks you're doing? Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? <laughs> where, where are your parents? Kid sketchy. <laughs> Very funny clip. So much funny shit on the internet. It's great. Hmm. That place there look a bit suspicious. I'm always on the lookout for the latest secrets. You know me. Loopy lights. Well, oh well. The Casio Loopy. Ooh. That's one crazy concept. Let's go with Diddy here. I think it's quick. You need to be quick here. So this is about going down here. There we go. It's about turning on the lights. There we go. Just do it quickly before the lights go off. Ah, yeah, fuck, I remember this now. So they jump when you jump. So the trick here should do this. There we go. Come on, man. Very effective, yeah? It's just such a simple mechanic. They jump when you jump, but man, does it get you sometimes. Oh shit. You did it now. Checkpoint, good. Oh you fucking bastard man. Come on, let's go. Come on, move it a tiny bit this way, there we go. Fuck that banana. The hell it, what the hell? That was a... Wow!
Not the fuck? What did I do here? What a mess. Come on, dude. What the fuck? You gotta head on back. God damn it, my nose itches all the time. It's so fucking annoying. <laughs> ah! You fucker. Oh shit. The fuck did I do? Oh man. I fucked up. Alright, at least you can see their eyes. <laughs> Ah, you fuck! I panicked. I thought it was coming in an arch. Ah, you shit ass. There we go. Let's go quickly. Let's make haste. <laughs> I like the sound of that. I. <laughs> oh man, this game. Fuck you, you fucking asshole. Oh no. Go, 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 go. Alright. Okay, pay attention here. Got it. Like this guy made me panic. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, what the fuck was that? I want that G. Damn it, I don't have the M. The fuck? What the fuck was that? Die like an idiot. Alright, let's not fuck around here too much. You, you can't turn nasty. Very quickly. And like I said, I, I don't have excuse to, to be bad at this game. Oh. Nice try, asshole. Oh, fuck, come on, come on, come on. What the hell was that? Nonsense. I need a friend. Here, I'm not gonna. Oh shit. Go, go, go. That, that fucking G fucked me up last time. Whoa. Yeah, fuck. Now, again? Damn it! Idiot! Piece of shit, you. What the fuck are you doing, dude? Uh, hi, I'm human and I learn. Ever heard of that? Learning? Learning from your fucking mistakes? There we go. What are you doing? What, 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 what's all this shit? What's all this shit? Poppycock. This asshole, you motherfucker, you. Okay, this this has it got to be the one. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so remember this idiot. Oh, you fuck! Get him! Get him, Skitter! Get him, Skeeter! You fuck! All right, what the fuck? Yeah, this has all killed me before when I was a kid. I remember, never forget it. All right, time to have a little save here. Can a save point? Let's do it. All right, I just want to make sure that the camera is in focus here. Take a look, full screen. Looking good, my friend. Looking good. I like it a lot. 
Bruce Almighty watched that the other day. That was cool. Alright, let's let's get going. I wanna get going. Platform perils. Oh this Oh this this can be tricky this one. This actually has some challenge to it. What was that fucking arrow? Uh, you know what? Let's just go. Yeah, this one can be quite challenging. They play up on uh, play on a lot of the uh, swap in between uh, Didi and Donkey here quite a bit. Oh shit! I fucked up. Yeah, it's like a lot of fucking fast decisions you gotta make. I can still get it. <laughs> this game is awesome. Okay, I can't remember. There's a part that's gonna come up here. You have to kind of. That was that was a blind jump. Yeah, this guy. If you if you with Diddy, you're fucked. Nose itch, of course. What else? What else is new? Jesus, my nose is constantly itch. Yeah, here you don't even need to touch the platforms. I can't get it. Oh, don't don't be a hero. Yeah, don't be a fucking hero. Yeah, those guys, man. Here, you cannot miss it. And this is the one that gets me a lot. There we go. If you fuck up here, yeah. Damn it! Yeah, this this can be challenging. No, no, no. Okay, it's fine. I think I think we. Yeah, there we go. That wasn't too bad. There's another boss. See what Cranky is. I always like to hear Cranky because Mr. Fucking Heinz is just the obvious. Have you brought back those bananas I loaned you? In jungle hijinks stick. Are you kidding? We're at the end of the game here just about, I think. And this guy's here, out here talking about jungle hijinks. And at the first level, the knack is revenge. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Getting crazy there, Naki. Getting crazy. There we go. Take that, my good sir. One, two, three, four, five. Boom. Boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? I, I, I never know at the end there if there was another. All right, let's go. Let's do it. I, I don't know. I don't want to. I would like to click clear this in one go. Let's go. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. The music. Awesome. I start with Diddy. And as always, then it does another one. The music is awesome. Nah! Jesus. I'm falling asleep here. <laughs> Gets faster and faster. And this, once they hit the ground, you can kind of go. And you gotta pay attention to his. Ah! Shit. I don't know why. I want to clear in one go. I, I don't want to die here. It's kind of lame.
Ah, you fuck! Damn it! Shit. Yeah, they're tricky sometimes. You think they're gone and they're still around. Look at the island in the back. It's fucking awesome. The music, everything is fantastic. And it looks epic. Ludicrous on this monitor. Look just awesome. It's fucking crazy good. Gotta be careful here. It's very fast with this one. Now I play with a cousin and I let him believe that this was it. It's like, yeah, look how cool that is. Credits. So there you go. Of course, there you don't go. Characters are so all case here. So like, what is this? The end question mark. So there you go. I was like, what the fuck? My cousin was like, what? All right. Whoa. Ooh. So there goes the dream. I'm not dying on K roll here. That was ass. Okay. Let's go. Let's let's do this. Pay attention. I I. I don't know why I jumped there. I, I have a thing with jumping when I panic, which is the worst thing to do. Okay. That's really pay attention this time. I shouldn't have fucked up with that fucking cannonball. I, I don't know what the fuck was that. I would have made it. I hate it. I did. I did want to make it. I don't know why this time I wanted to make it first try. Yeah, I was too eager there. Moved forward when, uh, too early. That's what happened. and fucked up my Diddy Kong, and then it becomes difficult to make it with just one monkey. Aging as usual. I'm so tired of it. I don't know what's wrong with me. Right, there we go. Let's pay attention here. There we go. This can get you still. We gotta be careful. It's very quick. There we go. Oh, and then they don't do the credits anymore. It's just a matter of jumping here. All right, let's see if we can beat it with, with him. <laughs> that was short-lived. Okay, this one is tricky now, coming up. There we go. This is it. Yeah. Out. Too bad I didn't clear with Donkey Kong and the main protagonist, but there you have it. Well done, Donkey, my boy. Who would have thought a young whippersnapper like you could have beaten that bunch of no good Kremlins? You made an old man proud. Go and look in your hoard. I think you'll, end for, you'll be in for a surprise. If I had been playing, I would have found everything. I'm sure there must be some bonus rooms you haven't found. Yeah, remember the beginning? Bananas for a lifetime now. Awesome. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the credits. Credits are great. I'll be quiet here.
<laughs> yeah, lion scumbag. Look how look how awesome that is. They made those sprites, yeah, just for the ending. There's a big reward there. You have all those animations. This is so fucking awesome. And the little jokes with the uh, the old man there. I clear this using one life and less than one hour. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. I think I think it is a speed runner, right? Old man, you should be a speed runner. What can I tell you, man? This game is fantastic. I, if there's one thing I'm happy in my past is that in my childhood is that I had this game along with the second and the third one later on, and I played it a lot. In fact, the second, which I'll play here, obviously. It was the first time I ever modded any hardware, or I would say, say uh, did any repair. It was, uh, I couldn't save, I couldn't save the game. The battery was either missing or defective. Sorry, and I, uh, I think I, I think I had a battery, I think the battery was defective. I opened a cartridge, first time I ever opened any sort of electronics. Removed the battery, gave it to my uncle and told him, can you buy me this? And he went to a, like a, a guy to repair, repair his watches or something. They got the battery back then. It wasn't all online, you know, to buy anything. And then replaced it, and I was able to, to save the game. And before that, I, I had to play everything in one go. But anyways, I, I love that I grew up, grew up with those games. They never get old for me. It's fantastic. Donkey Kong Country, if you haven't played it, uh, played it yet, it, it holds up. It's great. The graphics are good. It's amazing they were able to pull that off at the time. Very, very uh, innovative that they, they, they did, you know, 3D graphics on silicon computers and then made sprites out of it. Amazing, amazing looks. The renders, it's, I love Donkey Kong Country. It's just such a great game, such a great franchise, such a great character. Good job, Rare. People that work at Rare at the time uh, in England. Awesome job, you did well, and this is an iconic, timeless classic. And I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of it. And uh, until next time, take good care of yourselves. <laughs>